couldn't hit him. All right. What? Sorry? I couldn't do it. So you didn't fight back? I just saw Joe's face right in front of me and I, uh, f I froze. And then they all piled on top of me and I just lay there and let it happen. Hey, are you hungry? I'll make some butties. You don't have to dash off, do you? Oh, I've got to get to work. Try calling you. Sorry. Things uh, got a bit out of hand. What things? Did Kane find Isaacs? I've been worried. Ah, oh, you don't need to be, Vic. I'm, I'm making some lunch if you're hungry. I'm not stopping. Oh my God, what happened? Did Isaac do that to you? They had all his mates with him. Well, what did you do to them? Just wish I'd have walked away when I saw him. He might never have realised who I was. You shouldn't have to hide. He's an animal and you need to go to the police. No, it's done, finished. But if they could do that to you, think of what they could do to someone else. I said it's finished. And what about you? The way Isaac behaved is disgusting. But you can't just pretend that nothing happened and let him get away with it. You've seen what they've done to Kane. I wouldn't stand a chance, Vic. I just want to forget it, all right? Hey, you. This can't go on. Talk to me. You know, Matty blames himself for what happened to you. What do you want me to do about that? No, I don't know. Should we go to the police? No. Kane, come on. Please start asking questions. They're, they're going to know that I didn't fight back and they're going to wonder why. Well, they're going to be more interested in what Isaac did. They'll know something's not right. You're being paranoid. I can't risk it. Risk what? The police, they'll push and push. And... If I start talking, I might not stop. And I might end up telling them what I did to Joe. Yeah, you're right. I just hate seeing you like this. It will get better. I hope so. Thought you were working? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I was, but uh, I got talking to Vic. And she made me see sense. So I've uh, reported Isaac and his mates to the police. You can't let her push you around. I'm not. I had to do what was right. Yeah, and we'll support you. Well, um, there's no real evidence of what they did to me, but um, there is what they did to Kane. You told them about me? It's the only way for them to get what they deserve. Ported Isaac for what he did to you. I'm sorry I was scared. Who's going to believe me? At least take that stuff seriously. Not all the time. I thought the worst they'd do is go and have a word with him and come straight back and find me. Well, we'd protect you. Mum, you can't be with me all of the time. I just want to get on with my life. Yeah, so do I. So call the police off and tell them you made a mistake. What now? Hello, oh. Mrs. De Gaulle. We've had a report of an assault. Come in. Clearly been in a fight. I already told you. I had an accident. And yet you're not being very specific. Look. <clears throat> I fell. Well, do you? Those injuries are not really consistent with a fall. Well, I think you should go. It's a serious offence, you know. What, falling? Wasting police time. You need to get your story straight before calling us out, OK? If we find the other person in this non-existent fight, the one that I'll bet looks ten times worse than you, I'll be back. Isaac Nuttall and his mates. He was a guy I, um, I knew before, but 
when I was... before I transitioned. I see. When I saw him again, and he realised who I was, he didn't take it too well. He was disgusted. That's when he just decided to prove a point. So he grabbed me, pulled him on top, to show that I still had a female body. He assaulted me and I want I'm charged. Of course you do. I'll need you to give a full statement if that's okay, and we'll take it from there. I know that wasn't easy. You've done the right thing reporting it. All too often, people don't bother. Or take matters into their own hands. So what happens now? We'll bring these lads in for questioning and see what they've got to say for themselves. We'll keep you up to speed with the investigation. Nice to see you again, Mr Dingle. We'll have to keep an eye on you in case you fall over again. Wouldn't want that to happen, would we? I just couldn't let him get away with it. We understand, love. And what you did was very brave. I just had to make sure Isaac and his mates don't come back. Get what they want. Because they know I could have battered a lot of them, but I didn't. I know. Because he doesn't do that anymore. Then why did he go after Look, him? Does it matter? I'm not going to be doing it again. You're going to have to fight your own battles from now because I, I, I can't protect you anymore. I don't need you to. I can take care of myself. Right, come on, kids, why would you be late for school? Here we go, then, boys. Sardine paste and egg sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> it's ham and cheese. He's only messing about. No, yeah, well, it's stupid. Hey, what's the matter with you? Well, get yourself ready, please, and shoot up here soon. Come on, kids, chop, chop, work, work. Hi. Have a good day, boys. Do you want me to take them? No, no, no. I can manage. Hey. What time do you reckon you'll finish? I don't know. Matty's going in the clinic today about his top surgery. Well, he's got a date? No, he just wants to know how long it's going to be. Well, so what's the problem? Well, there's no one. I suppose I'm just a bit worried. Yeah. They come from my car. Well, you've come too early. You said it'd be ready first thing. Well, does it look ready? Yeah, sorry. Uh, we had a few problems getting the parts, but give us, say, an hour and it'll be as good as new. I suppose I should have called first. Oh. <sighs> Did Sam call you too? Hey. What is it? What's wrong? It's just... I don't know who I am anymore. This is the, uh, the fifth spot where my dad smacked me over the head to put me in my place. Yeah, but you're past all that. <laughs> am I? It's a long time ago. You're a different person now. <laughs> At least I knew who I was back then. A thug. Not a murderer at all. You mean like me? No. Oh, it's different. I'm all sad. <sighs> I've ruined Debbie's life. Kane. She's young and she'll move on. Like you need to. Well, how can I? I'm not used to anyone like this. I can't defend Matty, can't protect our bell. I'll never forgive myself for putting Debbie through all this. Miss you. Missy Carter's going to give you my card, so if you need to get in touch in the meantime or you think of anything else that might be helpful, please just let me know. It all happened so fast. Still don't get why you want to find him. How many times? 
Because nothing adds up. You need to get a grip, Keen. I could just tell her what actually happened. You can't. If she knows the truth, she'll never forgive you. But it's not knowing that's destroying her. What, and you honestly think her finding out that you've killed him is going to help? She needs an end to this. No. She needs her dad supporting her through this. Reassuring her that she's better off without him. Nick. You need to go to work and carry on as normal. Breakfast of champions, eh? Oh, it's lunchtime. Exactly. Haven't you just finally rolled out of bed by the looks of it? Well, that's not a crime, is it? You are not doing this. Just gonna get another. Go on, then. Enough is enough, Kane. All right, here comes the tough love. I mean it, don't you dare. This ends now. That's better. Yeah. I feel amazing already. Don't play me for a fool. Look, um... I'm sorry. There's this guy that brought his car into the garage the other day. Richard. He's bringing it back tomorrow to have his winter tyres fitted. But he seems pretty into Debbie. I know. So? So? You're not the only one that needs to get out of their own head. I think it would be good for her. Is she okay? Yeah, she went for a walk. She said she might do some paperwork after. She looked like she needed something to take her mind off things, so... Hopefully that was a one-off. Maybe. Or maybe it was a practice run. Well... Not if Graham did things properly. I've seen... I've seen what I've done to her. She'll be OK. I've done some terrible things in my time, or it's no secret but this. Hey. You promised me. No unravelling now, or there'll be nothing left. No family, no future for any of us. Oh. The look on her face. I'm never going to forget that. Look, we act normal, we distract her, move on. We have to, OK? I don't want you freaking out while I'm away. Hey, why don't you go to the pub and have a pint, unwind? Do what you normally do. Like I said, nothing's really changed. Is it? Joe's dead. Well, you don't know that. No, I do. I do, because I, I killed him. <sighs> oh, Debbie. Right, Jack, teeth and then we're going. I'm taking you today. OK, hurry up. <sighs> What did you tell him? Well, same as I told Sarah, that she left early for work. I mean, she might have done. Why wouldn't she come home? Kane. Okay. I'm thinking. Are you going to tell me what's going on? You were weird when you got in, and you were up in the night. Well, I couldn't sleep. You went out. I heard your car. Yeah, I went to look for her. I think there's a reason why you're so worried. I told her. When's mummy coming?
Where are you going now? Out. Looking. Where? You've no idea where she is. Well, sitting round here is not going to find her, is it? What get into you, Kane? Look, I can sort this. The whole family. You've risked everything. I don't need this now. Debbie's not your only child. She's not the boys. She could talk to anyone right now. Anyone! What time was it roughly when you got home that day? When you saw Matty? What? After you saw Joe and I was at the lake with Ross, what time was it? Why? What difference does it make? How's about the difference between a life here with me and the boys and one in prison? You need to pull it together before you chuck all of us down the drain. You need to stop banging on about the police. I thought I'd call for an update on how you're planning to fix the mess you've landed us in. Look at you haven't heard from Debbie. What do you think? She's either going to phone up and apologise for flying off the handle, is she? In which case, there's a possibility she may report us to the police. We need to make a plan. Great. He's all yours. Good luck getting through to him. No. Police isn't her style. No, it's killing someone yours. People change. She'll see it was an accident. She's got to. Based on what? Your shrewd judgement so far, presumably. Don't make me regret not selling you out. Talk to her. Make her fall in line. She won't go for it, not now. There is a chance you might listen to me. Your dad's in bits. He's all over the place. Is he? Well, at least he's got you to lean on. Who have I got? Darling, I can't pretend to know what you're going through. You said you can, can't you? Because that's why you're here. Come to stick up for him. Just don't really understand this. I don't really understand why you're stood there so calm when you just found out that your husband's killed someone. Does that not scare you? Does that make you wonder what else he could be capable of? Your dad went after Joe because he wanted to protect you. Your dad will do anything for you. And then you killed him. He killed him and he lied again and again and again. Like Joe didn't even matter. That's not true. Yeah, it is true. All of this is true. So I tell you now, if you have come here to tell me that I need to deal with this, then I don't know what I'm going to say to you. I'd say you know that sending him to prison isn't the answer. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to forget about it all? Do you want me to forgive him? Cain Dingle, my dad, the single biggest disappointment in my life. You're wrong. Knowing what he's done to you, He's been torturing himself since it happened. He hasn't just told you, has he? You knew. Wow. Well, you've got some nerve coming up here talking to me about conscience when you have been protecting a murderer. Look, your dad does a lot of things, but he's no murderer. I mean, he didn't used to be. Look, he acted impulsively, yes. He made a mistake of one. He would literally do anything to him. I don't there. care! Because that is no consolation to Joe or me or Sarah or Jack. Debbie, everyone makes mistakes. He stood by you over Ross every step of the way. How dare you? Look, I am not asking you to understand or forgive him. Just please don't punish him more, please. I want you to go. Debbie, I'm begging you to listen. I have listened to you. And all I have heard is that you have chosen your side. Oh, well, good luck with that. Now she is the both of us. I just wanted to give her a hug and tell her that everything was going to be okay. Yeah, more lies. How's that going to help? Why didn't I keep my mouth shut about Joe? Like I've been trying to tell you for the last 24 hours. Like... 
keeping it from her it was destroying you, Kane. So. Yeah, and losing a risen. Debbie. Come to get our things, it won't take long. Sweetheart, you don't have to do this. Yeah, I do. I don't want my kids living with a killer. Debbie, look, it was an accident. It was just one punch. You've got to believe me. I can barely even look at you. So what makes you think that I care about anything you've got to say to me? I'm not letting you go. You're not going like this. Yes, I am. If you want to stay out of prison. You wouldn't do that to your dad. I know you. Wouldn't I? Because as far as I'm concerned, he's not my dad. So you know rules don't really count anymore. Cancel the trip. But I'm not going to leave you like this. That's everything. Debbie, I know this must be really raw for you right now. Right now? Joe's dead. Just like you are to me. She doesn't mean it. She's just got to get her head Didn't ready. you hear what she said? Yes. But she's hurting. She's just trying to lash out at you. Yeah, well, it worked. You were supposed to go around there. Made things better, but instead you just made things worse. She... Oh, so you're just going to smash the place up now, are you? Sorry, hey, stop it! No, that's enough! Come on! Oh. Leave me alone! Has he hurt you? No, of course not. I'm fine. Fine? He just had you pinned to the fridge and was screaming in your face. What were you doing? Nothing. It's got nothing to do with you. Is he for real? No, Cain was upset about something. Don't blow this out of proportion. No. What if I hadn't walked in when I had it? Hurting and intimidating a woman. I thought you were better than that. Ma, please, just stay out of this. We're sorting it. Why are you defending him? Have you done this before? I asked you a question! Which I don't have to answer. What is it with you and her in your family? Only I just saw Debbie. What have you done to her? Kane! Yeah. You missed, luckily. I meant to miss you. You wanted to smash my face in, though. Look, Matty, can you just leave me and Keen alone to talk, please? I am not leaving you with him. Please, Matty, just go. I mean it. Fine. I'll be at Vix. I've got my phone. What was that about? He was winding me up. He was trying to protect me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? I shouldn't have lost my temper. No, you shouldn't. My wife Kyle had walked in. How do you explain that to a seven-year-old? You are. How dare you? I would never do anything like that in front of Kyle. Then don't go round throwing punches. You never know what kind of mess that might get you in. Well, maybe some of us aren't as good at burying the stuff that we've done. Meaning what exactly? Meaning I never meant to kill anyone. You know, I think I might go away after all. If you're hell-bent on hitting self-destruct and bringing everybody else down with you, I don't want to watch. I'm done, Cain. Got it nice in here? Have you not been to work? Oh, come. Didn't fancy it. Oh, you're the boss, I suppose. Not sure Moira will be happy about this, though. Come on, let's tidy up before she gets back. No rush there, then. How do you mean? Kane, what do you mean? Has she left? Well, do you see her? Oh, where's she gone? Why's she gone? Nana Barton's, and you'd have to ask her. 
What, is she coming back? Well, you'd have to ask her. Well, I can't, can I? So I'm asking you. <sighs> First step in health is... <sighs> Has she taken the kids? Kane! What's happening? You're interrupting my programme. Well, whatever's gone on, this is no way to be. There are two ways I can be right now. You don't want to see the other. Well, right. So I'm meant to congratulate you, am I, on not smashing some random person's head in? Let me help. OK. Leave. I saw you talk as a grain before. And? Well, I mean, it looked more like an argument, really. Was it? No, you worried. Oh, no, not, not, not for me, no. Oh, no, of course not. You with your legendary selflessness. Come in out of the conversation, please. Debbie, you can't be like this with me forever. Watch me. Saying to her. Whatever I thought would limit the damage. You what? She's becoming rather difficult to handle. Well, you, you don't have to handle her. I told you someone does. And you quite clearly can't even handle yourself. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I messed up. But I just... I just need you back here. Please. Come home. What happened to you? you? Stink like a pub. Bad night, was it? Can you help us unpack? Well, if it's all right with your mum. No, it isn't. There's something weird. Right, is there something going on you two aren't telling me about? Shouldn't you be at the pub? If you hear about your other half's mortar, then Dan's sorting it. So, how many smashed-up cars do you think it'll take before you get arrested? I don't just restrict myself to cars. Take it, you're on your own. <laughs> Got my wingman Graham here. Good old Graham, the body snatcher. This place is a mess. Well, I'm sure you can clean it up. Where's Maura? She left. With the kids. <sighs> Debbie doesn't want me anywhere near. So that's it. You're just gonna sit there and drink yourself to death. <sighs> I was uh, aiming more for oblivion. <laughs> Don't let it get hold of you like it has me. The craving for booze never goes away. And I bet that mind. Cheers. We're not that different when it comes down to it. Both angry at the world and do our utmost to destroy the things we like. I'm nothing like you. Mm.
But I still envy you. You can still fight to get your family back. I don't have that option. Myra. It's me. Matty. Look, um... I know you think I don't deserve you, Mum. And, and you are probably right, OK? But, uh... I love her. And, and, and I think and I think that she loves me too, so you know <laughs> that's worth fighting for, isn't it? Yeah. Cause everything's a fight for you, isn't it? I would never lay a finger on your mum. Didn't write out the other day. You always did get your kicks from watching everyone around you suffer. Still the same bully with ten years ago. Nothing's changed. My, I just need to see you. Dream on. She's not, she's not answering her phone, so um Can you can you can you tell her to get in touch? I spoke to her this morning. She wants you out, okay? She said she doesn't want you anywhere near her. So pack your bags and go. I'll let you sleep it off all morning. Time's up. Well, I'm not going until your mum comes home. She's not coming home till you've gone. Well, tell her I've gone. I said I'd cover the farm. If you're still here when I get back, I'm calling the police. You know... Hello? Get lost. Looks like someone's turned the place over. Yep. Me. Whoa! No breast flammable that I ain't having. That's all right, Joe, on you, aren't you, eh? What are you gonna do? Tell me to wrap up warm as well. No, I'm gonna ask you what's happened with Debs. Joe's gone, keep up. After that? Mara's gone. So the kid's with her. Yeah, Faith said. Why? Realise who she was married to, I guess. You look like death. Sit down, I'll make you coffee. <sighs> Guessing uh, Debs has got a cob on because of whatever it is you've done to Moira, yeah? Which is? Oh, come on, I'm going to need some dirt, or this is going to be really boring. Sorry, is my life going down the pan not entertaining enough for you? Thing is, Moira already knows what a giant pain in the backside you are. I mean, she doesn't shock easily now, does she? So I'm going to put my money on infidelity. Can you stop that racket? Is that where you were going? So go on then, who is she who's the lucky lady this time? I was going because of that. Ooh, bad DIY. So why are we punching walls then? Because it wasn't my. No, Moira. I lost it. What if Kyle was there?
I can dress it up all I like. I'm just shadow, I can't I? But worse. So you didn't actually hurt anyone? No, I wanted to. And you stopped yourself? That's nothing like Shadrach. Yeah, but I said stuff. I said stuff that I shouldn't have. Mm, you've always had a big cob on you. Nothing new there. What was it that wound you up so much? There's no point making over it. Well, you're not going to get Moira back with that attitude, are Why you? do you even care? Because it wasn't that long ago you stood outside the courts and told me how proud I should be of myself. You should be in all. You are not him. And if you're sorry, you can turn it around. I don't think I can. Try! Time. What are you doing? You know I've just got engaged. Oh, that means anything. It does, actually! Oh, come on! You don't want Little Miss Sunshine, do you? Do you? I mean, she's gonna get bored in five seconds flat. All oh, right, and this is much more attractive, is it? This stinking mess. I mean, you never complained before. What was that? Grounds for divorce when Mum finds out. No, wait, look, he didn't mean anything. He's clearly in a mess. I told you to go. Yeah, I ignored you. OK, let's just let him stew, yeah? Mum doesn't want him here. Why should I have to go? Because you're doing my head in. You can't talk to him when he's like this. Let's just go now. Whatever's happened, you better sort this. Or you're going to end up with no one. Where are the boys? Somewhere safe for the night. Marty said you wanted me out, so if that's true, I'll, I'll go. I never told him that. He said you kissed Charity. Yeah. That one's true, then? Nothing happened. Because she stopped you. Do you love me anymore? Of course I do. I just thought you'd given up on me. I I'd have deserved it after what I said, you know, about Emma. No, what you said was right. And I must have known that something could have happened. But I didn't plan it. And I tried to talk her down. But you, you went after Joe. Your blood's colder than mine will ever be. So, um, have him. I'm giving up. Okay, don't touch me. You can have the spare room. Why are you screaming at me? Because your temper's enough for all of us. Our boys never see or hear anything like that ever. Understand? Yeah. No matter what happens with us, no matter how bad it gets. I've already promised myself that. So, um, <clears throat> if I'm staying... Does that mean...? Mean what? I haven't decided anything yet. I need to sleep on it. <sighs> Where's your mum? Deliveries. Is that the truth? Are you telling tales again? 
Only lie to try and keep us safe. Why don't you just keep your nose out of it, eh? Or what? She won't let you stay. She's just scared of what you'll do when she tells you to go. Look, it won't happen again, any of it. Yeah. That's what all abusers say, don't they? I doubt you get a chance to prove it. Wait, well, you haven't seen Spammer, have you? Who? Yeah. Bell's Piglet. Oh, you just missed her grabbing a cappuccino on a bacon roll. Yeah, brilliant. I didn't notice her getting out, and now I'm never going to hear the end of it. Did I choose the right babysitter? No, the boys are fine. They're allergic to sleep, but they're fine. Oh, I'm sorry, but thank you. I'll come round and pick Isaac up. So, is there um, any reason why you couldn't have him at yours? I thought you'd have heard by now. Okay. Yeah. He lost his temper. Said some things and did some things. The kind of stuff you should walk away from. And he threw himself at charity. Well, maybe we should call the police. No, they'll only tell us to try locking it. I'll tell you what, I'll bring a locksmith and I'll get him to put some extra bolts here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, will you? That'll be good. Did you hear me, Kane Dingle? I want a word. Babe, you really don't have to defend my honour. I think it's okay to snog my fiance, dear. Have a good grow up while you're at it. Look, I was in a bad place. That's not an excuse. I was going to find you, say sorry. Lay one finger on her again and I'll. What? I chuck a kitten at me? I'll report you for assault. Babe, you're going to pop a stitch at this rate. It's over. He's sorry, okay? Come on. Is it true? Well? <sighs> yeah. But I, I didn't mean it. I mean, you did enough. I don't know why he did it. self destruct button. Yeah, and his temper. But I've been just as bad. I've lashed out at him. I mean, he has seen me at my worst. Forgive me when he shouldn't have. So, are you gonna walk away? I just wish he'd rein it in. Count to ten first or something. I mean, if he could stay out of trouble for two minutes, we'd be fine. Yeah. Robert's lucky he didn't get done for decking Billy. Thinks he's my bodyguard. Not that I haven't got a temper to. You'd do the same if it was him. Billy would be dead by now. Don't tell what I said, though, though. You want to protect him even when he's a nightmare? He wouldn't be Robert if he were a nightmare. And listen, Kane doesn't want charity. he will be regretting everything. You'll sort it out. Hmm. It's not too late. You still love him, though. More than life. I just don't know if that's enough. Where's Joe? Oh, he's on the Costa del somewhere, living his best life. Now, what's all this about you and charity? He disappeared, didn't he? The day of the wedding. Well, yeah, it was this Joe's. He's buried out there, Smith. Because if he is, that would explain a lot. God, don't talk so daft. If me and Mum could get into trouble, then I need to know. No one's in trouble. Then can, can you tell me what's actually going on? I need to talk to Kane first. Can you look after Isaac? Sure. My mum obviously does. Or was it you? No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. This is what happens when you talk. Debbie. Well, we're just gonna have to make sure it doesn't go any further. What is the point if you're done with me? I'm not. You still want me? Yes. Why? Because you're my husband. I choose you. At your worst, at your best, I don't care. I 
I love you. Then stop pushing me away. Let me help you like you helped me. I need you both to promise us that whatever you know or think you know, you'll keep it to yourselves. No, you need to talk to Debbie about that. Yeah, we will. So Joe's dead then. I, I won't stop asking. You should practically tell me anyway. It was an accident. What kind of accident? Look, the less we tell you, the better. Oh, this is insane. I can't believe this is happening. I don't expect you to understand. <laughs> no, I understand everything now. Matty, I am begging you. Not a word to anyone. What about Debbie? Then we get married. Debbie knows. She hates me. Look, you can trust us. It won't go any further. He was protecting Debbie, like he tried to protect you. He was looking out for his family. And I need you to do the same for me now. No one can know. Please, Matty. This one. He, he could go down for this. Look, I know how you feel about Kane. And from what you've seen over the last few days, I can't blame you. But he's not the man you think he is. He killed Joe. And practically the minute you walked out, he's, he's hitting on charity. Oh, that meant nothing. It was a knee-jerk reaction. He thought he'd lost me and the boys like he'd lost Debbie. He told you he killed her fiance. I mean, what, what did he expect? <sighs> oh, can they let you go? Yeah. No body, no proof, just a statement from whoever it was. Debbie, it must have been. I, how could she? Despite everything, you're still her dad. Isaac, OK? Yeah, yeah, fine. He's just upstairs sleeping. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go and wake him. And then we'll go and pick up Carl from school. I'm going to take you all out. I might have got dragged out of that pub by the police, but tonight I'm going to go in there with my head held high. Chaz is going to want to know the score. Um, Kyle, he, he's with Kerry. Right, so let's go and get him. Yeah, but there's something I need to tell you. But don't worry. We'll sort it, but it's going to take some time, sir. She kept threatening us with social services. She's worried about him, I get it. That's the only reason I let him go. You know, I, I just don't want Isaac to be dragged into this. Things are bad enough. Look, it is not your fault. You weren't to know I was coming back. She can't keep hold of him, Fox, the legal guardian. So, Carl's with Kerry now. About time. He's better off all the way from you, isn't he? Happy days, eh? Well, it is for her. I bet you're ecstatic now that you've torn this family apart. What was it, revenge? Telling the police everything? I didn't tell them. Oh, come on. At least have some guts and be honest. We all know it was you. Just leave it, eh? Whatever she did, she had her reasons. I'm not a grass. No matter what you've done. I might hate you, but I didn't tell them. Debbie. What? I'm telling you, I didn't tell the police. What's... So who did that? Someone else that knows everything. Someone that hates you more than enough. Yeah. I trusted you. Somebody's been murdered and no one calls the police. What planet are you on? Kyle has gone because of you. I could have lost him today. Isaac could have lost his father. I did it for you to try and keep you safe. Mom. I don't need keeping safe. I love my husband and he loves me. I can't even look at you. Get out. Go on, get out. OK. I Just put it on here, look, like this. Trying to build something here. Trying to build an empire for you. Well, not quite, but, you know, doing my best. That's it. Hooray! Well done. <coughs> She's out. You look like you're expecting a pasting. I'm not scared of you. Look, if I was in your shoes, looking out for my mum, I probably would have done the same. Really? Well, no, actually, I wouldn't, because I'm not a grass, but what I'm trying to say is, 
I understand what you did, protecting your family. Yeah. But it... It did just kind of happen in the moment. And, you know, obviously, I don't want Mum any more upset and... I didn't ask for chapter and verse. I think I'll, uh, go and do some clearing in the barn, then. Matty. I never meant for it to happen. Would you hope what it did? And if the police can prove anything, then... Okay. You're gonna need to be there for your mum and him. He's already missing Kyle. I'm sure it will be okay. Yeah. Well, no <laughs> thanks to you, eh? Hey, it's okay. What's the matter? I have this one here, look. You're in your anger so you can blow up again later. No, I'm not. I mean, nobody likes a grass, but if I can see his point of view, why can't you? Because I'll be left on my own with everything if you go down. And who's he to launch in and decide when we're in danger? I mean, how dare he? Your new mate told me you've been titivating the barn. It's going to take a lot more than that to put things right. Right. Look, about the police. You know what really knocked? It is you letting me think it was Debbie. I'm sorry about that. Listen, I never would have let Debbie take the blame. But the police, they're not dropping the investigation on Joe. I've just been to withdraw my statement. I did withdraw it. But they, um, they said it was still suspicious. Great. Now you've made a bad situation worse. Clever lad. You gonna be all right? Yeah, of course I am. It's all right to admit that you miss Kyle, you know. I miss him too. He's gonna think that I don't want him. Oh, he won't, Keen. Right, catch you later, yeah? Okay. But you put one tiny toenail out of place. And I'll come down on you so hard you won't know what hit you. What's going on? They've just got you. <laughs> We'd like you to come down to the station, Mr Dingle. What? What now? We have reason to believe your previous statement might not have been entirely truthful. What reason? This is rubbish. So, would you like to revise your account of your movements on the day Mr Tate went missing? No. I've got nothing else to say. You know what? This is blatant harassment. Fine. In that case, Ken Dingle, I'm arresting you to allow for the prompt and effective investigation of the murder of Joseph Tate. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. They placed me at home far the day I disappeared. Oh, my God, Ken. No, it's fine, right, because I told them that I warned him off Debbie and then he, he just went away. Graham said exactly the same. Right, so he just backed you up straight away? Didn't try and land you in it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Well, if they've got two people's word for it, then that can really strengthen your story. Exactly. Oh, good. Well, I'll go and grab Isaac so you can have a cuddle. So, that's the turn up. You really think you can trust Graham? Mum, just, just drop it. Had a really long day, you know what I mean? Oh, great, you're back. Cheers for the update. I assume this was down to you. You assume correctly. Well... Thanks. Well, I didn't do it for you, let's be very clear on that. I did it for Debs. And she doesn't even know what she wants to do yet, whether she wants to turn you in or not. And do you really think she would? She's grieving, Kane. And she's very confused. So just don't be booking any foreign holidays right now. Put it that way. <coughs> Visitors. Have you found Joe? We have reason to believe that you might be concealing evidence in connection with the disappearance of Mr Tate. Says who? Not your concern, sir. A warrant to search these premises. So if you wouldn't mind stepping aside. Beat the smell of desperation. 
You've only just started, Mr. Dingle. I mean, what are they expecting to find? Don't know. Oh, I'd better get a move on. Well, my appointment's not till one. Yeah, well. Uh, surely you'll want to know developments. Let me know what goes with the dogs, Yeah, I'll text you. Started early. So. No. Are you sure you've told me everything? Of course. And the police definitely didn't see the watch before you took it. I'd have told you. Suppose. From now on, we we just need to keep our heads down and stay away from everyone. Well, even Debbie. Washed her hands of me anyway. Mum, just let her go. Do you know how stubborn she can be? She'll see sentence eventually. Do you know what? If she can't forgive me, then... We're just gonna have to get used to it. Wasn't it? Meantime, you've got Isaac and Kyle who need you a lot more than she does. Maybe. Kerry can't stop you having Kyle if you want him back. But no, you'd rather just sit here and do nothing. Bear what? Plane gonna get to his special place. Hmm, we'll just have to find him somewhere else to sleep tonight. <clears throat> ah, can you hear that telly blaring across the yard? Sorry. We like it when it's loud, don't Maybe we? Maybe you can help us. Oh, it's lovely to see you, Kyle. Where? Is he staying for his tea? He's staying for good. And is Gary OK with her? Well, I didn't give her any choice. Look, it's obvious she's been struggling with him. So... I reckon I've done us both a favour. Good. Now all I've got to do is make up to our Debbie. But she'll forgive you eventually. Will she? Well, when it comes to family, the secret is not given up. It's not like any of us are going anywhere. Right, come on. Turn it off. <laughs> You're driving down now? Mm. Say your prayers for a miraculous and speedy recovery. Listen, everything's going to be OK here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's me off, sweetheart. All right, um, tell Nan I was asking after her, yeah? Oh, well. Now, Pete's gone through everything with you. Mum, I know what I'm doing. Well, he did need a few pointers last time. What's that supposed to mean? Just a joke. I <laughs> don't think I was doing you a favour, would you? Stop it. Look, just give me a call if there's any problems, OK? There won't be any problems. I'll keep an eye. OK, love you. Why are you around there putting him in a place? Threaten her if you have to. You're good at that. I don't want any more trouble. There's been enough of that while I was away, which nobody bothered to tell me about. I'll have a go. Well, Rona was nearly killed and you kept that quiet. We've had social services sniffing around and that didn't come up in conversation either. Is there anything else you're hiding? No. I should have stayed at Nana Barton's. Go back and take him with you. Nobody's going anywhere. She tried to kidnap your son. She's done it once, she'll do it again. We have to make sure she doesn't go anywhere near him. A mother's love is powerful. And what would you know about that? From now on, they don't get to see Carl. That means no sleepovers, no picking him up from school. We do everything. You got that? Well, he's going to be confused. Well, he'll get used to it. Well, it sounds like he maybe has been reasonable. So you think I should just hand him over? Is that what you think? No. It's decided. Well, it's up to you. I'll stand by you, whatever. Just don't keep me in the dark. Well, you know everything. So how long do we have to keep this up for? To let me get some message. Look, hopefully she won't be around for that long. <sighs> What's she done now? Well, she's fallen out with Pollard over Amy. Mum, I told you to keep your nose out of it. Well, it's too late for that. She called the police last night. What are you playing at? Look, there is a warrant out for her arrest, isn't there? And Kyle's safer with her banged up. She can't grab him from a cell, can she? I hope they throw away the key. The last thing we need right now is the police round here. Just stay out of it. Kyle's my son, and I want to see him and get to know him again, whether you lot like it or not. <laughs> you really think we're just going to let you walk back in? None of you are even Kyle's legal guardians. That's supposed to be Zach, isn't it? Well, where is he? He's not even here. 
This is one big joke, this. Have you finished? Haven't even started. Another dodgy move from you lot, and I'm calling social services. You was one a fight, you'll get one. Come on. I'm going to ask for some longer payment terms on some of these suppliers. Take the pressure off a bit. Give us some breathing space for the next couple of weeks. What do you think? Are you even listening? What, what you, you reckon it's a good idea, do you? Putting bills off. Ain't going to make them go away, is it? Said the expert on silently hoping things aren't really happening. Oh, meaning? Oh, come on, Kane. You've hardly said two words all morning. I know you're still upset about Amy oh, yesterday. Just leave it, will you? Well, don't tell me you've lost your fight. I'm not going to play dirty, am I? Not with social services on me case. You heard what she said. Where are you going? I'm going to take Kyle his lunchbox. He's forgot it. Where is my girlfriend? And... Well, she needs me with her, not against her. So you're siding with them over me in the farm? Is that what you're telling me, Pete? Jazz, can you have a word with Paddy? Get him to reconsider about the insurance. No, I'm so I'm sorry, Moira, but I'm not getting involved in this. I'm staying well out of it. Yeah. I got your text. Where was he then? With Amy. Hey. Oh, so that's Kim. And what happened with Joe? Has Graham told her everything? How's your dad now? Hi. How's Rona doing? She's back home now. Uh, I'm guessing you've already heard. She doesn't want to sue the farm. No. No, I had no idea. Oh, really? Because Pete knew, didn't he? Exactly how much you had at stake. Because Butler's is partly his too. And I think Rona has a right to know the impact any legal action might have. Mm, I suppose. I, I know it's a nightmare for all of us, but we're very grateful. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Only there's no way the vets can stay out of debt now, so we're pretty much stuffed. Hey, listen, it's Rona's decision. Even without the vets soon as we're still not in the clear. <sighs> Playground now. Uh, I don't think we've got time. We're going to be a tea in a bit, but next time. Amy took me there. Did she? Oh. Well, that was nice of her, wasn't it? She's good for Amy, isn't she? I thought you were playing cards. Yeah, yeah, we are. Just chatting. So, shall I buy some else? All right. Yeah, where are you off? I'm taking Mum into hot for tea, aren't I? Yeah. And Jack's at a mate, so we're making the most of it. What about you? Well, I'm uh, meant to be getting tea, but I'm running late. Kerry came round to see Kyle earlier. Sorry, why don't you go and wait for me in the car? Yeah, as long as we're prepared to chuck our lot in with Kim Tate. What are you on about? Yeah. She called me in the top field, offered to buy into this place. <laughs> I hope you told her where to shove it. Oh, that's a tiny bit of shoving. Well, that's the trouble with the top field. It's foggy at this time of year and it's too easy to slip. You are joking. <sighs> Kane, she is so up herself and infuriating. <sighs> All right, so I shouldn't have done it. Not without filming it anyway. Great. What do you think she's going to take out on you if we don't play ball over this place? Well, yeah, she could do that. Well, then, if I go down, so does Graham, so... I don't think she's going to want to incriminate one of her own, is she? We hope. What a starry-eyed kid's eloping into the night. Sorry? You're getting wed. We all know it. So just name the date. Get up with it. Oh, OK, then. Uh, about six months from now. <laughs> six months? Why so long? Well, that's... How long I've got left to go? What do you mean? For what? I'm pregnant! We're having another baby! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Hey, 
Even if Kim Tate comes at you with an axe, you just stand there and smile. Yeah, well, I could have killed her the way she spoke to me yesterday. How many times? Just don't wind her up again. Yeah, but after all that, she just rolled over and played nice. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, because that's because she knows the score. If this blows up in her face, she's... What are you doing here? Kim said that you'd gone for good. Ah, she must have been mistaken. I had some business to attend to, to, um, seek out some advice. That's all. I reckon you owe me again, my Paul. Sweetheart, I don't think so. It would be a pleasure. You're always welcome. I'll be up later, after school. Hey, that horrible woman lives there. You don't want to be anywhere near her. It's not her I want to see. Look, he misses his brother. If he wants to see Graham, I can't stop him. Don't even try, then. Seriously? Look, he'll do what he likes, but with him up there, we'll have our ear to the ground, won't we? Oh, my ex had sent a photo of them on the beach. In Wellies, on the beach. Why did they choose Whitby at this time of year? Well, because her mum promised if she came through the operation. Yeah, I know. Break will do them good, won't it? Oh. Right, right. No one's in trouble. I don't know what's wrong. Well, he says he's up at home farm woods and he's scared and lost, and you, th you think someone's after him. Kim Tate wouldn't dare, would she? Well, Joe was a grandson, well, step grandson, and the same as Noah, and she wanted him dead. I knew it was a bad idea, I'm going up there. Wait here, I'll call you in a bit. Fancy the sport of light grave digging. This is not what it looks like. It never is with you. I think it's time for another of our little chats, don't you? I wish you would stop doing this to me. Are you all right? They had me waiting all morning. I was only in there five minutes, then they let me go. Well, what did the police think you were doing? Moving Joe's body, I suppose. And you told him that it was a blatant setup by Kim Tate. Right, look, he says he has nothing to do with any message, all right? Tell him. She must have nicked my phone out of my pocket. Denied it to my face as well. She's a snake, that's why. And who's the idiot for going up there? I was seeing Graham. I wasn't in on it, I promise. Never thought you were, mate. Great, well, that's settled. Come on back to school now. What about my phone? I just bought a new footy game for it. We'll get it back. You just stay away from her, yeah? Come on. Thanks. See ya. Well, where are you going now? I'm going having a shower. I'm going to find Kim Tate. Don't tell me. Don't mind talking out here, do you? Only with houses like this. If one rat gets in, you've had it. You need to stop playing your stupid games. The thing is, I'm rather fond of them. People really should learn to have more fun. What, like, like digging a grave for Noah, that kind of fun? It wasn't for Noah. I was just making sure you were in the right place at the right time. Yeah, well, all you've done is get the police sniffing round me again. That was the general idea. Just a reminder that I could get you sent down any time I liked. Yeah, except you've got no evidence. I'm sure something could be arranged. You know, they say it's easier the second time. Maybe I should find out. You're not going to kill me. Why don't you, uh, 
Why don't you take a step back? Hmm? Kane, don't be difficult. Joe never learnt to do as he was told. I suggest you don't make the same mistake. You think you can tell me what to do? If you know what's good for you. He wants me to stop playing games. Come with me. I've got something to show you. I told you I'm not playing games. Look around. What do you see? Horseman, you Really? And you? Money. Right answer. I think I'd have horses even if I didn't like them. It's an easy way of showing the world how rich you are. It's meant to be impressing me because it's come across as really sad. Then I'll get to the point. I can pay people to make sure the police believe whatever I want them to. Yeah, I'm right. Including how poor Graham here was intimidated into giving you an alibi. I'd never buy that. You've got a reputation to live down. They're not interested in me, as long as they get their man. Oh, dear. Seems it's all going to be on you. Seems I've had enough fun. See that he leaves the grounds. <clears throat> my kitchen. <laughs> How dare you? Who do you think you are breaking into our home? Well, I wasn't expecting quite such hostility. Get out of here right now. Why don't you at least hear what she's going to say? Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. I want to take ownership of the farm. <laughs> it's not for sale. Didn't I make myself clear the last time you tried this on? You did. But I doubt you'll be able to refuse the offer I'm going to put your way. I will never sell my farm, least of all to you. You might be a single woman soon, Moira. Ugh. Once your murdering husband's banged up. Get out now. We should go. Come on. Yes, I think you're right. And you know, for all your millions, you will never have what I've got. We'll see. Move. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> I'm gonna let it go, are they? Just gonna keep. Digging and digging. We're going to need to get things in order. Kim, don't, I don't want to think about it. If I'm gone, you're going to have Isaac, Matty, the farm. Can you stop it, please? And Amy, she's she's going to want to have Carl, isn't she? She's not going to stand back and watch you bring him up. Oh, you know about Joe. <laughs> So, how do you see this ending? How do you think? You don't want to do this. Yeah, I do. I'm going nowhere. Oh, Stick your stupid pride and go. This is not going to solve anything. Graham, please. Leave. Kim, what are you doing? Come on, we better go. Someone have called the police. Right. Start talking, please. I need to sort myself out. Yes, you do. Now, aside from the fact that you've been out all night... Yeah? I was in my car. Yeah, without answering any of my calls or, or my numerous texts. And then there's a small matter of you being in a full-scale battle in a field. You just leave your car in the middle of the road. I mean... I have never seen that look in your eye before, Kane, and I've seen a few. You look murderous. I still am. How stupid are you? 
You are the main suspect in an actual murder case. Yeah, it turns out I am pretty stupid. Well, stop being. Because you know what? You're going to end up in prison serving a very long stretch. And then what? I just have to hope that Joe turns back up. What is that supposed to mean? Well, he's not dead. What do you mean he's not dead? Graham lied. He just... He just made me believe it. So... It turns out I haven't killed anyone. Yet. You okay? I bet you're relieved. And I know I am. That's putting it mildly. And you're sure he's alive? I've seen him. Where? Well, I've seen a photo of him in Monte Carlo. What, a recent photo? Hmm. Definitely recent. You know, Graham has seen Debbie most days. He knows what this has been doing to her, thinking Joe was dead. <laughs> So why has he showed it to you now? Well, he didn't. Kim Tate did. Oh. So why did Kim show you it? I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter. You're in the clear. Aren't you? Well, um, I mean, if the police see it, yeah. Well, they will. We'll show them. We don't have it. Well, then Kim will. Or why would she have shown you it? I'm not getting the full story, am I? Kim will show it to the police, but there's a condition. Of course there is. But I'm pretty sure we're going to want to meet it, aren't we? I'm not sure I do. Why not? She wants me to sleep with her. <laughs> she doesn't. Does she? Are you kidding me on? I mean, I mean, why? I mean, why was she asking? I don't to do this? know. I don't know. Power games, mind games. You tell me. Were you considering it? No. I didn't get much past thinking about Joe. Right, well, we're, we're going to go and talk to her. Yeah, we need to, and fast, because she's not giving me long to think about this. And if your answer's no? Then the only piece of evidence that will clear me disappears. Oh, watch out. Amy will see you at dinner time today, and she'll be picking you up from school and all, right? And she's got something really important that she wants to tell you, right? So you be good and don't mess about. Promise? But listen to me. I will always be here for you, you know that, don't you? Yeah? Partners in crime, you and me. Wow. Yeah, too right. Never get rid of your dad, eh? Or me. Huggy bear. Yes. Right. Oh, go find your bag. I'm worried Amy telling him is going to confuse him. Well, he needs to know. Kids are resilient. Mm. And don't worry about Kim Tate's stupid offer. You're going nowhere. That's the second one I've had this morning. So either you sleep with her... Or go down for murder. Don't worry. It's not happening. Look. I know it looks like we're out of options. But there is one way we can get her off our backs. Yeah. 
Bury the cow in that shallow grave. <sighs> yeah, well, there is that. Oh, is this place? No, it's, just, it's your livelihood. It's our home. Wasn't the boys? We're not doing that. Well, we should at least talk about well, it. We've just talked about it, and it's not happening. Look, D. S. Sanders is convinced that you've killed Joe, and she's itching to charge you. And uh, Kim proving that Joe's still alive is the only way to end this. What? So you'd rather risk losing me and the boys? You'll kill me, but what else can I do? You go through with it. What are you saying? I, I can't see any other way out. Maury, listen to yourself. You're telling me that I've got to sleep with another woman? No, I, mean, I know, but what choice do we have? I mean, it's, it's either that or we sign over the farm. No. But what is the point of saving the family home if it means you're going to be banged up for life? And I'm not losing you to prison. <laughs> so did she tell you about her sordid little offer then? Or maybe it was your idea. Payback. Is Kane up there now? He wasn't there when I left. So why are you here then, Grammy? To gloat? I didn't want any of this. Oh. Well, that makes it worse. At least Kim's doing this deliberately. But you think it's OK because you didn't mean it? Oh, that's right, you should be ashamed. This is all you're doing. And to think that I felt sorry for you hitting the bottle because Joe was dead and all along you knew he was alive! Yeah. Unpredictable, though. People are. Horses just need a firm hand. I'll have a beer. People are predictable. So, does Moira know you're here? I'll spare the details and so will you. Yeah. Wouldn't do to let her know how much fun it was. And there's no reason this can't become a discreet but regular arrangement. You better be good. Oh, I'm pure bad. But you're gonna love it. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you rise to the occasion? I like a strong woman, not a desperate one. You must really like prison food. Oh, yeah. Keep running, but I'll destroy you both! Dear. Oh, you've made someone very happy. All I need to do now is talk to Debbie and I'll be dad of the year. She's still not replying. Things will change when she knows the truth. Oh, finding out Joe's alive is not going to be easy, you know. She's bound to be emotional. You know, I didn't kill him. And once she knows that, what well, we can deal with the rest together. The police have been touched, but you need to hear this from me. What? It's Joe. He's not dead. What are you on about? Well, he's still alive. I didn't kill him. Somehow, Graham covered it up and got Joe out of the country. This CCTV. Did you manage to see Debbie? Oh, yeah, I saw her. <sighs> and? And nothing's changed. What, she said that? And a lot more, believe me. Well, it'll be a shock. Once she's had time for the truth to sink in, it won't make any difference. Doesn't matter whether Joe's alive, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. I lied to her. She's never going to forgive me for that. You know, I might as well face it. I've lost her for good. Hi. I haven't got any tea again. 
and have some coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore in the mornings, do I? OK, well, I'll pick some tea bags up when I'm next in the village. <sighs> Debbie will come round. No, Debbie won't come round. You didn't see her. Well, blaming yourself isn't helping. You know, there's only one person I blame here. In no, no, fact, two. Kim and a lapdog, Graham. If, if he'd just stand up to her, if she hadn't wanted Joe out of the way, if he'd just stayed at the hospital and got married, then none of this would have happened, oh, would Oh, Kane, it? you can't keep going over this. It would have happened anyway. She's obviously the kind of woman that doesn't stop until she gets what she wants. I mean, I doubt that anyone's ever said no to her in her entire life. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, well, you still think that I slept with her, don't you? Uh, no, that's that's not what I meant. No, that's what it no like. Kane, that's not that's what, what I said. Like I didn't say that. Kane! Where have you been? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I sounded like I was. I know that you didn't sleep with Kim. Still not certain, though, are you? Most times. It's just sometimes. <sighs> my head gets the better of me. I'm sorry. And I, I know that it's my problem and that I, I will deal with that. Even when I've sworn on my kid's life, you still don't trust me. It's not you, it's Kim I don't trust. She's nobody to us. And nobody that single-handedly destroyed your relationship with Debbie tried to mess with our marriage, which I won't let her do again, not anymore. And uh, I promise you that Debbie will come round in time. She loves you to bits. I won't mention the Kim thing again, but you have to promise me that you will stay away from her. She's dangerous. I know. Well, we're not going to let her ruin this family. OK? Which means you have to promise me that you will have nothing else to do with her ever again. Promise. OK. Mm -hmm. Come in. OK? Oh. Any chance you can help Pete in the top field? He needs a hand shift and some feed. Yeah, sure. Kane, we have been over this. Debbie will come round. You just need to give her some time. The important thing is, is we stick together. I know. I know. You're right. So is that a yes to helping Pete, then? Well, you know, as, uh... As long as you ask me nicely. Did? Mm. Ask again. Mm. Oh. It's charity. Yeah. Hello. No, listen, I'm, I'm really busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. What? Right. Yeah, I'm coming. What's wrong? Is it Debbie? It's just all this stuff with Joe. You know. Charity wants some answers. Well, you better go and talk to her then. If that helps with Debbie. Yeah, thanks. No, sorry. Too busy to keep tabs on your husband. Well, he was supposed to be meeting you. Well, he did. And then he just went straight back to work after he left home farm. He was up at home farm? Yeah. Didn't he mention it? No. No, he didn't. Cheers. Yeah, Harry was scared out of her wits. All oh, right. So you were her, what, brave knight riding to the rescue? Right, come on. We're not going to make a thing of this, are we? Not unless you want me to. Well, it smells nice. Oh, curry, nice one. Cooks with my own fair hands. Didn't know you were out of to see. I didn't. Can't, Nick knows I can't believe done. she's let him drink. He has his pre-op tomorrow. Why are you blaming Victoria? Might knows his own mind. Does he? I don't know what he's thinking. I've tried talking to him, but... 
I don't know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. Anyway, I don't know why you're so relaxed. You've drunk all your beer. Oh, that was quick. What was it? I will taxi home. Why have you booked a taxi? Uh, because you shouldn't drink to drive. Well, I can give you a list. Just let me finish this. Or, better still, you both stay here and sleep it off. Sleep what off? We've only had a couple of beers, but... No, and it's outside now. We haven't had a chance to talk about tomorrow. We can chat in the morning, yeah? See ya. I'm having a few drinks of Victoria's just as we're coping. She's put way too much chilli in that. It's gonna be OK. Well, I'm not OK. He's about to have major surgery and I have no idea how to help him. Well, he'll be here. Stop fretting. Well, he should have stayed here last night. Well, that's his lookout. Look, don't beat yourself up about it. Well, it's hard not to when he looks like that. Please tell me you're not hungover. No. I'm fine, OK? I'm just tired. Who are they talking? That's all. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. Oh, apart from the fact that you're meant to be having major surgery tomorrow. What? You think I don't know that? Right, come on. Your mum's just worried about you, that's all. <sighs> I know, I know, but... I'm good, yeah? Me and Vic talk things through. Oh, well, then that's OK, then. Oh, Mum, No, 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 it's OK. I mean, how could I possibly understand? I'm only your mother, after all. I'll wait in the car. There's some bottles of water in the fridge. If I were you, I'd get one. You ditched your Mum. How do you think she's going to feel about that? She kept going off. I know there's risks involved, but I don't want to keep thinking about it. Right, you might be bricking it, but there's none to take it out on her. She's trying her best, and every time she does, you just keep throwing it back in her face. Maybe she should see that I've got a lot on right now. Well, yeah. maybe you should stop thinking about yourself for five minutes. Look, I, I know you've got Vic, but your mum's your mum. She would drop everything for you. So maybe you should think about that before you go pushing her away. Tease us all, yeah? Yeah, well, I forced myself. Right, I'm I'm gonna text him. Dan and drag him in. Dan's ill. Well, he didn't sound ill. He sounded shifty. No, don't do that. No, I'm coming with you. No! Look, we decided. I'm taking him. You haven't eaten Ethan. anything. Well, not everybody needs a full English before they leave the house. You can't put all this on yourself. I'm not. Victoria's gonna be there. Oh, that's the last thing he's gonna need, isn't it? You two at each other's throats. Oh, give me some credit. I don't want you there, OK? Mind if I borrow some of your hair stuff? What have I said? <sighs> he doesn't like talking about you, so... No. Well, yes. OK. Huh? Help yourself. Ah, oh, cheers. I thought I should look my best for it. Or shouldn't you be leaving? If you say so. Good luck, mate. Oh, thanks. Right, you're at the hospital. Well, Dan's off sick and it's Chaz's doing it. That's very understanding of Moira. Well, she doesn't want me there. What makes you think that? Because she said I don't want you there. Well, I said that when Sarah's in hospital, but I was still glad when you came. Look who's here. Oh. I know I said I wouldn't come, but... Oh. Any news? No, we don't know. I mean, you should be finished by now, but we haven't heard anything. Well, what have you asked, then? There's no one really but two rats. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Matty's through there. Maura, th there'll be a dozen operating rooms through there. Don't jump to conclusions. No. Uh... Something bad's happened, I know it. They did say that it could take longer. No, something's not right. I mean, you know, it's not usually people running in and out, is there? Excuse me, don't walk away from us. No, I I'm sorry, it's just... My son just threw the air and he's been in there ages and we haven't heard a thing. Well, they often start later than they plan to. Is there something wrong? Because we keep seeing people running in and out. We just want to know what's going on. Matty. Matty Barton, that's his name. I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. This is how it starts. And what starts? I've been here before. I can't go through this again. I just can't do it. Myra, I'm sure that everything's going to be OK. Well, 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 I must have missed something, because I've only seen you being brilliant. Well, this is the only reason I asked you to stay away today, because I knew that you'd be nice to me and then I'd go to pieces. Hey, as long as you're OK. All right? Nothing. Is that a game? You're playing games on your phone? 
Nothing else to do, is there? No, no, I'm not having a go. I just didn't have you down as the game type. Well, what's the big deal? Can't that means about it, didn't it? <sighs> yeah, all right, I think. Just want to see what it all looks like. Uh, should we tell somebody? I'll see if I can find a nurse. Hey. Then I suppose we shall wait. Yeah. Wait and see what I have to say. Morning. I had to check on the cattle first thing. I didn't want to wake you. Where have you been? I've hardly seen you for the days. <sighs> Busy with stroppy clients. I had to make sure my whole hair didn't come down with bovine rhinotracheitis, but luckily it was a false alarm. I'm sorry I didn't make Zach and Lisa's homecoming party, but it was just unavoidable. How are they? Lisa's terminally ill. Knocked us off for six and all. Her and my dad have known about it for a while. What is it? Can she not get treatment? They've tried treatment, but it didn't work. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, it causes organ failure. We're talking months. Right, I'll um, I'll drop the kids off before I go to work. Kira, I'm so sorry. You should have said. Well, I rang you, but you never called back. Then it's not the kind of thing that you leave in a text, is it? Anything else I can do today, apart from opening up? Well, we'll probably just have to play it by ear, to be honest, but you'll probably get some extra shifts later. You got it, boss. But will you please give the rest of the family all my best? No one's going like that. She's not dead. Aye. Well, this doesn't need doom and gloom and pity, does she? She's not going anywhere yet. Roger that. Glad to hear it. I need to take it out on him. Hi. Hey. I'm really sorry I couldn't make it yesterday. I'm sure Lisa would understand. Well, I was thinking of going to go and see her in a bit for a wee blether. Do you think that'd be all right? Yeah, of course. Better late than never. Ready, Phil? Ooh, yeah, go on then. I could sink another OJ and lemonade. Ta. Mm, cheers, bro. I'll have one of them too. I thought you'd be at work. Just popped in for a cup of tea. Oh, we have tea at home. Here you go. Should be all there. Any complaints, take up with them. Nearly forgot. Happy anniversary. I thought we weren't doing those this year. Good. Go and do something. Go out and celebrate. Well, I've already had a skinful at lunchtime celebrating my dad and Lisa getting married again. Oh, right. Don't worry. He didn't miss much. Look, I'm ready to none of my business, but it's getting always this uptight. I could barely get the time of day out of him. I've done something to upset him. <laughs> well, he's not exactly effervescent at the best of times. And, um, well, we've, we've got a lot on at the moment. So I wouldn't take it personally. I try not to. See you later. <laughs> Look at this day, you. How'd you do that? I work in a garage. Uh, yeah, well, I work in a shop. Doesn't mean I stick price labels on my face and come home in a carrier bag. It was an oil filter. I slipped. And that's all you need to know. Right. Go get it changed. Oh, maybe I should swallow my pride and call her again. Do you answer lasagna? I'll get to you. I told you I might not be back. Oh, well, that's not what you said. You said that you might be a bit late. Yeah, too late for tea. I'll get some while I'm out. I don't know what you're fussing about. Because I need to know. And don't make out like I'm nagging. It's not like I've spent the day messing around. I work as well. And it is 2019, Kane, so you might want to decide what we have for tea for a change. Imagine that. Hey, it slipped down between the seats, Mum. Oh, thanks, darling. I'm in a domestic. 
No. If they were having a domestic, you'd be crawling through the rubble by now. What you've seen wouldn't even qualify as light banter. <sighs> Have you, um, heard anything from Vic? Not a squeak. Or a cough, should I say? No, no, me. And she's not answering the texts. Maybe she's just busy. Try again in a day or two. Mm. Lisa. Only she was in here earlier. She had a bit of a set to with Kim Tate. What? She really put her in a place. It's, it's hard to believe she's so poorly. Yeah. Sorry, you don't need me blathering on, dear. It just uh, hasn't really sunk in, you know. Hi. Hi, Paul. I thought you were working. I wasn't in the mood. Come on, this has gone on long enough. Can we be normal again? All suggestions welcome. Look, I would have told you before. I wanted to tell you, but I just didn't have permission. Well, and, what, and now you have. And now I have. Do you remember a lot of them went to a club in town? The night Ellis got stabbed and, and Rona got with Nate. Well, Victoria walked home with a guy and invited him in. And that's why I missed Lisa's party. I'm sorry, Kim, but I just couldn't leave her. Does she know who he is? Of uh, the guy? He says it was consensual. There's only her word. Right. Not if there's anything I can do. Just let me support her. All I'm... Right. What do you think? I bought this top new especially. I want to make a good impression, you know, first day, new job and all that. Well, it's only cooking and cleaning. I and mean, you've worked there before. Yeah, but not for Kim Tate. Oh, Kim, she's nothing special. Just treat her the same as you treat anybody else. No better, no worse. It's a matter of opinion. Oh, well, opinions won't put food on the table. Wait, no need to get up. Yeah, kids, raise yourself down. Don't be daft. Anyway, I think you look lovely, doesn't she, Samson? Of course, I'll, uh, I'll have my pinny for on, you know, once I actually get stuck in. And Lisa, thanks again. We're both really grateful. Oh. Aren't we, Sam? Hey? Eh? Hey? Yeah? We, uh, we thought we'd just come over and see how you're doing. It's lovely to see you both. Samson! Leave him, love. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. He's not taking it right well, that. I've tried talking to him, but I don't know what to say. It's a lot for him to deal with. Things are very black and white at that age. There's not much room for laughing when... Well... ..when someone's not going to be around for as long as you'd like. I'll try talking to him again. Maybe I should. If that's all right with you. There you go. Any more problems, you know where we are. Mm. All right. How's things? Well, I'm going up to see Dad and Lisa later, as it happens. Wedding? Busy day, so... And how are you holding up? Do you mean after everything with Will? Yeah, well, it's some uh, pretty messed up stuff, that. It's over now, so... Well... If you need anything, you know, I'll just say the word. Like what, Kane? Vengeance? No, I'm good. I'm trying to be, anyway. Fancy brew? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks for the tea, but I uh, really should be cracking on. You barely touched it. It was horrible, sorry. Oh, yeah, I thought we had milk at you, the powdered stuff. Well, next time, maybe we could try the cafe. I just... I thought we'd have a bit more privacy here. So you can open up about your feelings about Lisa? Must be tough. No, I'm fine. Really? No, I was thinking more about you and Dawn's dad. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> we'll have to do this more often, then. <laughs> Hi. You doing the job? Oh, sorry. That's my fault. Nothing personal, but I need to get back to the church. Of course. See ya. See ya.
Right, five minutes, okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Did you fancy a coffee? I'm still under. Could have done with more notice on this wedding. I know. Hey, and, and we need to make an effort to spend more time together, too. I'm not having a go. Glad to hear it. What's the rush? Work. This morning and you work in a pub. Yeah, a uh, pub doing a wedding reception with hardly any staff. Is anyone seen my jacket? What do you need that for? It's knocking on summer. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, well, we all know you would wear a T-shirt in Siberia, but it's also about style. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get that now. Time for me to start worrying when you like what I'm wearing. Saved us knocking? Yeah, so you owe me. Oh, what's the cost? I think... Absolute state of you. Um. <laughs> Thank you. You do know I'm stood here? Of course I do. It's the main reason I'm not over there for a closer look. <clears throat> get back to work if you're done. I'm not done. We'll just get back anyway. Decent. <clears throat> you look handsome. <laughs> said nothing. Get back in that bedroom. Yeah, I said something. Oh, as tempting as it may be, you're picking up Lisa. Oh, come on, we've got time. Yeah, pick up Lisa and we'll talk about the other later. You do think, um, Amy's gonna come back? She said so, didn't she? I'm sure she didn't want to take that call. Uh, are you hoping that she's gone? Well, it just made things simpler, wouldn't it? <sighs> Simpler doesn't necessarily mean better. She's Kyle's mum. She's keen to be in his life. Do you really want to deny him that? Right, I suppose. I'd better go and get Lisa. Are you sure you don't want Robert's still trying to sell Seb, but he said he'll make an appearance later if he plays ball. Has anyone seen Lydia? Well, I thought she'd be with you, Sam. So did I, but she left the house and didn't come back. Well, Debbie's gone here, Walter. Okay, Dad. I have to be. Yeah. Why is he sniffing around, Amy? Why don't you go and warn him off? Well, he puts himself about, he'll soon move on to someone else. Do you reckon? Well, well if he knows what's good for him. Hello? Well, yeah, you're speaking to him, Mammy's dad. What's up? Well, if he's not fit for the school trip, then we'll let you know. What are you on about? He was in school yesterday. Right. OK. All right, yep, thank you. I'll find out. He was meant to be up here with you. I'm sorry. I, look, it's a long story. But the main thing is, is that Kyle's all right. You lied, Moira. He could have died. He's been in A&E and neither of you bothered to tell me. Can't wait to hear this one. 
You weren't fit to be a mother then, you're not fit to be a mother now. Oh, Kane, Amy has learnt her lesson. She won't let anything like this happen again. Yeah, too right, cos she's not gonna see him again. She didn't leave keys in a faulty motor. You what? If it wasn't for Nate, he got him out of that car. Oh, right, I'm, I'm meant to be thankful, am I? He was meant to be with you, but you palmed him off on her. You lied to me, you, you forced my son to lie to me. Yeah, because I knew you'd lose it if you found out. Don't listen much, do you, Kane? I'm sorry. That's how you like it, is it? Keeping your women and kids too frightened to talk back. You're saying to bully women? You slept with her when she was our old. Sixteen. You told her to have an abortion. I right, get out, the pair of you. You can't stop us seeing me, little boy. I just have. But he's lost so much already, he's got a right to get to know his mum. Mate, he's already got one, Moira. Ken! I thought I'd you get out. I'll be in touch. She won't. I cannot... Don't. Give me your excuses, cos I don't want to wear it. Ian, stop staring at them. You can only just settle things with Amy. Not so yet. I thought you agreed Amy could see Kyle. Which I think is just great, by the way. Well, we haven't given much choice, did we? Come on, Cain, stop shutting me out. OK, so I messed up, but you've messed up worse. But we talked about it and we got through it, didn't we? That's my job, then. Stop bleeding now. Go finish up in the field. Yes. Really? I'm OK. Thanks. Okay. See you later. Right. Hey, there was no need for that. But my son almost died. Yeah, and he saved him. That is trouble. If I were you, I'd get rid. Oh, well, you're not me. I'm buying in the farm. Hi. So how does it feel to be ancient? It's a bit rich. You're only a few years off 15 yourself, aren't you? Um, okay, sorry, can I ask? Do you moisture it? Get off me. Ignore him, Paddy. Right, everybody, please, folks. Uh, can I have your attention, please? Right, seeing as you're all here, we thought we'd let you know. We've recently found out that we're expecting... A little boy! <laughs> Why would it be? You know, she hadn't turned up yesterday. You are so full of yourself. Is it not what you like about me? Who says I like you? Well, in that case, it must be something else. I'm a married woman. I know she didn't say happily. Just go and feed the cows. Where the hell have you been? Oh, nice to see you too. What's up with him? Believe me, he's the least of your problems. Phone call, by the way, telling me what you were doing in Scotland. Oh, no, wait. That was charity. I mean, what was going on in your head? Oh, I better keep Moira in the loop. I know. I'll call my ex and get her to pass on the message. Maybe they need the grief. I am your wife. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? <sighs> Just so you know, Isaac's on the mend now. How do you mean? He had croup. And that was so much fun dealing with that on my own while you were in Scotland. And you still haven't told me why you went. Well, you must have had a reason. It's not important. Oh, you're really <laughs> testing my patience now. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Lisa left Debbie and Belle a garage in a will. I didn't know she had a garage. Well, neither did I. That's why I was up there sorting stuff out. What stuff? I'm trying to offload it. You are selling your daughter's and your sister's garage behind their backs? Oh, Kane, you are unbelievable. They belong here. I'm not apologising about it. You heard from my dad? You fed the cows? No. Thought I'd let them starve. Life's just one big joke to you, isn't it? Are you having a go at me? I'm not. Like, this can't happen. I need you to leave. Yeah. 
Greg. Seriously? I mean it. Are you sacking me? No, it's just... just Kane's home now. Okay. I'll back off. But that's not gonna work either. I, I need you to pack your bags and go. Shouldn't you run this past Pete? He's doubling his workload. I need you to leave. Fine. That's what you think you want. What? Hardly. Listen. About that garage. Debbie will thank me in the long run. You can't keep trying to run her life. OK, maybe I've been a bit hasty, but nothing's been signed. The buyers might pull out yet. There shouldn't even be any buyers. Have you learned nothing? Why don't you sit down and eat something? No. I've silage to shift. Well, can't Nate do that? Nate's just quit. What? Why? You really don't want to know. No, I do. What's happened? Assume that this is my fault. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. I know he can be a bit arrogant, but... but I thought he was a good worker. Like, he... He's moody. He, he blows hot and cold. It's no excuse to leave you in the lurch. Well, to be honest, I'm glad to see the back of him. If it's one of your busiest times, you've got calves and lambs to sort out. Harvest is just around the corner. You, you and Pete, you can't cope with all that on your own. Y you didn't want him here in the first place. Right, OK, yeah, maybe, but it's a matter of principle. I'm not having him get in some kind of mood and just walk out. See, there you go again, trying to take charge. This is my farm. It's none of your business. It is now. OK. What are you doing? Oh, the wanderer returns. You need to get back to the farm now. Kane, just leave it, please. Do I have to drag you there myself? I don't work there anymore. You can't just get in a mood and walk out. Maura needs you. That's where it's coming from, you. You are. What use have you been to her? Disappearing off to Scotland to sell Debbie's new garage. What garage? The one Lisa left you and Belle. Hasn't he mentioned that? Dad? Is this true? That was in a doghouse. Are you laughing at me? Hard not to. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, stop it, stop it! <laughs> All right, leave Turn it now! Okay, that's enough! So, is it true? Oh, do you know what? Forget it. I'll talk to somebody else. What garage? What's going on here? So what is the plan then, Dad? Is it to keep me here? Forever? It's not just about you, is it? Sarah and Jack, you'd be taking them away oh, from us. Oh, here we go again. How many times do I have to say this to you? They are my kids, and where I go with them is up to me, OK? Not you. You know what? I, I am done with this. I don't know. Seriously, let's just go. Nice to see someone's telling the truth for once. Sorry, did we ask for your two penneth? Makes a change, all I'm saying. It's a private family conversation, so keep your nose out. Seriously? You're threatening me? Hey, please, let's not do this again. Why don't you listen to your girlfriend? She's learned to stay on my good side. Meaning? Nothing. Just, you know, how difficult I can make things, that's all. Can you not see? Well, that was a great day. Mind if we don't talk about it. Excuse me. Of course, we're going to need to find a replacement for Nate. Oh, and this is us not talking about it. I don't expect any help from me, that's all. Because it went so well earlier. What do you want? Uh, well, I thought I'd come up here and try and have a reasonable conversation with you. Well, I don't have to explain myself to you. Why didn't you just tell me? I'm trying to understand here. Except you won't. It doesn't matter what I say, so what's the point? You know what? I came up here to try and sort things out with you. No, you didn't. You came up here to tell me I'm the bad guy. Well, you know what? I've had enough. Kane, she's just trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, yeah, well, great. Lucky me. I'll tell you what, Debbie, don't bother. Because that way, you get to play the victim and feel smug at the same time. Oh, really? What's the thing? I've just come up here to win some stupid little argument, well, do you? haven't you? It means you get to rip the family apart without feeling bad about it. Best of both worlds. I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of you throwing it back in my face. You and Joe, you deserve each other. Spot brats the pair of you. Don't look at 
look so worried. Talk to her. I've tried. Try harder. Debs. You got a minute? No. I'm busy. I thought I was doing the right thing and I got it wrong, but I apologised. No, you started to apologise and then you lost the plot, as you always do. You just made things worse, Kane. I don't know what Debbie's like. It's like talking to a brick wall. She doesn't want to wear it. You might as well save your breath. You got a problem? No, no, not at all. No, I'm just uh, clearing glasses. Don't take it out and bob. Pick on someone your own size. Oh, well, this is cold, eh? I'm just grabbing the sandwich, Pete. That sound. Because I've just had mine in the combine. You know, I thought I'd better crack on, seeing as I'm the only one that's working. What are you doing here, then? Keen. I'm looking for you. Because I want to know why we've lost our best farm and we're harvesting round the corner. We harvest on our own. But even if the weather holds off and we don't sleep, we're still stuffed. I know. But we need Nate back. Do we? I mean, he was really stroppy and difficult. So you fired him for that? No, I, he walked out before I had the chance. And, and him and Kane were locking horns every five minutes. Obviously, it felt too much like hard work. Ah, so it's his fault. No, I wasn't saying that, but... Well, not entirely. Well, you didn't exactly make Nate feel welcome, did you? What was it, Mason? Bag him a cake? No, I want you to back off and leave the farm into the farm. the people who've actually got a stake in what's going on. Like, we'll try and get someone else in. What, this time of year? No, you should be so OK, cos anyone that's good is already employed. This ought to be fun. Just don't do anything stupid. Like I said, I promise you, we'll sort it. Yeah, you better. Good night, Rubru. Got another one. Go on, then. Just to be clear, from now on, this is as involved in my family as you get. Making you a drink? Or whoever. Make as many brews as you like. Right. Problem? Yeah, a little bit. To be honest, I was hoping Pete was going to make them. Have you tasted my tea? It's awful. Well, to be fair, he has got a point. Also, I need the toilet. That's not crossing the line. Listen, I'm sorry I said that I dropped Leo at Holiday Club. It's all right. It's not Rona giving you the elbow. They agreed on a split. Doesn't mean they can't help each other out. There's plenty of breakfast there, Pete, if you want it. Ah, cheers. No, I don't get all this still good friends business. Either you want to be with somebody or you don't. Yeah, well, me and Rona, we want the best for each other. And we've agreed that I'm going to keep seeing Leo. Oh, you worry about that boy more than some dads do their own. That's supposed to be a dig? Well, if the cat fits, as my mum would say. What? You went off for days without telling us where you were going or what you were doing or if you were even coming back. Put another record on. We've been over this already. OK, maybe I didn't handle things right, but I had stuff to do. Yeah, like talking to me and letting me know what you were doing? Or is that too much to ask? But you could still put things right with Moira. People have their eyes every now and then. But yeah, you're not the only one that Shadrach treated badly. There was your mother. Well, he used to go off on benders for days and leave her to look after the kids with nothing. Just like you went away and left Maura to look after the kids. Eh? Do you really want to be like him? You know, I was really proud of you when you settled down with Maura. Seemed like you were finally keeping your wild side in check. <laughs> I was hoping that this time it was for keeps. It's not just me that's made mistakes, you know. Maura's had a fair share, and I've stood by her. Well, it doesn't seem that way. When you come and go without telling her what's going on, maybe she thinks you don't really care anymore. OK, I've messed up. What do you want me to do? Buy some flowers or something? <sighs> no, the shock would kill her. Just stop taking it for granted. OK, Dad, I get your point. I'll give these to Marlon. Cheers. You promised you'd make an effort. <sighs> Moira! As soon as you're here, why don't you, uh, stop and have to look to eat with me? Oh, right. You obviously haven't noticed that we're really busy on the farm right now, Kane. Problem? 
You're in my kitchen at the crack of dawn. Thought you'd be pleased. Why? It's just me and you today. Early bird and all that. Did Pete let you in? When he took off for the cattle auction. Uh, Brew, it's just boiled. Uh, Help yourself. Well, you're gonna shift out of my way. If you want. Where have you been? And why have the kids still got the pajamas on? Only for breakfast, boys. I didn't want to wait you clattering around looking for the gear. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're gonna be late for holiday club. But we're taking the day off. We? Well, you mean the kids? Well, you know I can't do that. But you're right to lose it for the day, aren't you? Why are you asking him? You've got jobs to sort out. I can't take the day off. I'm still playing catch up from your last disappearing act. Well, what's that got to do with the farm? Are you forgetting that Isaac was sick? Who do you think had to down tools and look after him while you were AWOL? Look, I'm trying to make things right here. Then take the kids to Holiday Club and do our deliveries. Look, I'm drowning here, Kate. I'm sorry if that doesn't fit with your plans. Give me a good boy. How'd it go? What? With Myra. Oh. What have you done? What do best? I disappoint her. Candy Crush Crisis. What? Punching that phone like it wronged you. Has to be a bad gaming sesh. I don't play stupid games. Not a big game player myself. Unless it's Hungry Hippos or Twister. I was trying to lighten you up. I don't need lightening up. Game messing you about again. What's it to you? You seem like you could use a mate. You are not my mate. You work for me. And you're not working. Right. So, where do you want me? <laughs> you can start with mucking out the barns. <sighs> what is it with you and your lurking? I thought I told you to go and clean the cattle sheds. They're done. Reckon you could use a hand shift in the bales now. Boss. It's a two-person job. Unless you want to put your back out. Or you can keep beating up the bale, cos that'll work. Right then. Get shifting. On it. No talking. Just shifting. What are you doing? Cooling down. You want some? No. Just a bit of water. All oh, right. Yeah, thanks. We're almost done. Who knew we'd work well together? All right, no talking. Not mates. If you pretend I'm not here, does it make it easier to kid yourself that there's nothing else going on? Well, there is nothing else going on. Sure. There's nothing else going on. Once more with feeling. There is nothing else going on. Nothing. But it don't stop us getting all hot and bothered here, does it? That's because we're shifting this lot in a stuffy old barn? Yeah. That's all there is to it. Mm-hmm. Break's over. Moira couldn't get away with you because she was too busy. Yeah, drowning in all the work she has on. Drowning? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, and you're in the pub while she's drowning. Right, I text her to see if she needed anything, but she hasn't got back to me. No, because she already told you how bad it was. <sighs> I should have just got stuck in, shouldn't I? I should. I think you should. Kane, have you got a set? Not there. Because this is definitely not safe. Yeah. Hey, 
Me? I want to help out. Just tell me what to do. Uh, you don't have to do this, Kim. No, I shouldn't have taken off this morning. Look, I, I, I shouldn't have taken off the other week. Look, it could seem like I, uh, I take you for granted, but I don't. Never. I'm off to, um... Sort out the silage. Yeah. No problem. Thanks. I just want to make things right. I want you taking on everything on yourself. Uh, we agree. First time in a while. You know when we got hitched and I said we could do anything if we were together? Do you remember that? Yeah, of course I do. It was right before you kicked our bedroom door down. It's still true. I know it is. I just keep making mistakes. Well, we both do. But we're still us. In this together. Kane, I, um, I've done something Kane, I need to tell Can you. Can you not see we're busy here? Stop fobbing us off. This is why I did it. Did what? I'm going for residency of Kyle. Look, I'm just after some rights I can count on. Ah, uh -huh. with Nate's help. Moira, I thought you'd no, say No, you my... thought wrong, Amy. Did... You know, just get the hell out the pair of you. And don't come by and visit Kyle tonight or, or any other night. You stay away from us and you stay away from our son. My son. Not anymore, sweetheart. You were right. We should never have given her access in the first place. And why is she doing this to us now? Because her solicitor thinks she's got a chance. Yeah, that's because she's getting paid to. Hey, this is a hopeless case. Yeah, and what if it isn't? Hey, Kyle is going nowhere. He is our son. We are in this together, remember? And what about Nate? Well, he's living on our land and taking our money whilst he's helping her with this. You leave Nate to me. No, no chance. You'll just be playing into their hands. Trust me. I'll sort Nate out. So, uh... Simmer down yet? Yeah? Shut up and listen. That's a no, then. This is not going to work. Catch me up. What won't work? You're trying to split up my family. Why would I want to do that? To give Amy the tiniest chance of getting Kyle. You really think I could fake that sort of heat? Can you? What are you playing at? You're lucky you've not been fired. Why haven't I? Because we need a worker. And you're no threat, Nate. My marriage is strong. Are you, though? Because if it had turned up just a few minutes later, it wouldn't have been so easy to cover up our kiss. A kiss is nothing. Nothing? Tell Kane about it, did you? I thought not. Must be a bit of something to it after all. Not for me. You know, I came this close to telling Kim when your girlfriend turned up. We can get over a harmless snog, but someone trying to break up my family, that's another matter. And we'll never let that happen. I don't need protecting from Kim. I know. It's me that you need to worry about. You've got no idea what I'd do for my family. So you think very carefully about your next move, Nate, before you try and come between us. Nate's doing. I've told you to stay away from my family. I knew you couldn't sort this. Well, I, I can, and I will. I'll, I'll just do what I should have done in the first place. I'll fire him. Then I'll never set foot in this place again. <clears throat> you did. I don't joke about my family, and you don't get to walk in here after you try and break it up. Work here. No. You're fired. What grounds are we telling Pete? Misconduct? But you still haven't told Kane, are you? Misbehave. Look, I, I meant what I said yesterday. Don't come between me and my family. Still got a straw in your ear. Look, 
I'd rather you didn't set foot in this house again, okay? Please. It's my fifth one of the day. Why? What's wrong? You don't get enough sleep. Yeah, I wonder why that was. Oh. Well, do you fancy a round two? What has got into you? Oh. So you don't want to? Yeah. Yeah, of course I do, but... I've got to get to this apartment with the solicitor. All right, so when we're done, maybe I can help take your mind off things. Deal. Hmm. Right, come on, come on, let's go. Still can't believe it. Why don't you draw a picture of you, Isaac, me and your mum? Which mum? Which mum? The one who cooks your dinner every day and tidies your room, cheeky monkey. Go on. You know what? I think it went really well with that solicitor today. Yeah? I think we're in a good position. He's right. We do everything for him. Amy's not got a chance. Come here. Hmm. What's that for? Today. I meant what I said. You have been a brilliant dad to Kyle. And you're not a bad husband either when you put your mind to it. I love you. I love you too. Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, looks like a bomb's gone off in here. Yeah. Um, mm. Welcome back. <laughs> so, I was gonna tidy all this up, but... Well, why don't we ditch work? And celebrate Amy dropping the residency oh, bit. Yeah, mm, yeah, I would, but I'm, I'm really busy. Sorry. Oh. Well, where's my wee bear? And I'm dying to squeeze the life out of him. You're gonna have to wait until you pick him up from nursery. Oh, Kane, I thought you would have kept him off nursery today. I've not seen him for weeks. And Anna B's doing fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we have a proper catch up when I get back? Yeah. Welcome oh, back. Bice. Yeah. How do you want? Pete needs a hand with a tractor. Says it might be the crankshaft seal. Right, and? Well, Pete can sort it. Yeah, but I've got that delivery in Hutton. Just came for the keys. What's happened? We've been robbed. Mum caught him in the act and she's been hit. I'm fine. It was nothing. Oh, did you see anything? Did you recognise him? No, there were just some low lives. And where were you? Oh. What, and you and Pete didn't see anything? You could have stopped this. Your wife can look after herself. Just get out. Oh, Cain, stop it. I'm fine, OK? Go on. And thanks. What are you thanking him for? Kane, give it a rest. Did you betray anything? Not that I could tell. We should probably call the police. Or I could go out and find him. Or you get into trouble too. Great idea. Have you any idea who did this? No. But there's no way I'm letting him get away with it. I get it, you made your point. Can't you drop it? What do you mean, like your mates have you? Same ones who attack your mum. You need to make better choices. Oh, so what? I'm, I'm too stupid. I might have picked my own mate. I could tell as soon as I met them that they weren't right. What's going on? Right, so it, it turns out the lads who were here yesterday were Matty's dodgy football mates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. I, I never said that. Well, you didn't have to. Matty? All right. I suppose it could have been them, yeah? It could have been. Meaning what exactly? I found Jono's driver's licence on the floor. He must have dropped it. Right after I realised they'd taken the cash from the furniture I'd sold. Uh, and then they robbed us too. I mean, why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, Mum. Hey, I've messed up big style, haven't I? I should have seen through them. Anyone else would have, wouldn't they? No, you, you, you've you just been caught out and been too trusting. Yeah. Decent. Meaning you think the same as in that I am just a stupid pushover. I didn't say that. Listen, love, I need to take this to the nursery. Hello? Yes, yes. Bit of a late one last night. Could do with a coffee. And well, there's tea in the pot. Just the one cup, though. Amy didn't stay. I'm sure you'd be glad to know. Mm. Morning. Morning. So you don't have had anything off the police yet? <clears throat> Give me a chance. A waste of time. We probably let them out by now. I'm telling you, we should have sorted those lads ourselves. 
You mean yourself. Look, it's done now. Just let the police hands out now, OK? I agree. Thanks for your input. Shouldn't you be heading out to get those parts? Yeah, no problem. So, what are your plans for the rest of the day? This is your last day before you're a year older. Now, Faith's got Isaac and Kyle, so I might even bake you a cake. Well, I'm thinking about finding Ryan, for starters, and then uh, go from there. Maybe I should just apologise to everyone, cover all bases. I'll give you a lift down if you want. Oh, cheers, Nate, if you don't mind. I'll skin off my nose. See you later. Thank you. Oh, right. I'm off for work. Great. Have a great day. Let's see, you've got a busy afternoon planned. Oh, well, no wool pack for the foreseeable. Got to keep the workforce happy somehow. You mean Dan? Never bothered up until now. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? Well, I was just doing some deliveries and I thought I'd say hi. Hi. Wasted trip. We didn't have the right parts in the end. Oh, great. Reckon it'll be a couple of days, so it looks like we're twiddling our thumbs in the meantime. Still, managed to pick up a nice bunch of flowers on my way back. Do you like them? Very nice. I take it there for Amy. Who else? Taking her out for lunch, just because. Speak of the devil. Hiya. What are you up to? Hey, hey. Someone's got the right idea. So, uh, what time do you want us? Oh, you, you should ask Kane, it's his garage. No, I mean up at your gaff. Me and Paddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> forgot to mention, I said that they could come and stay at ours while the pub's out of action. That's not going to be a problem, is it? No, of course not. Come whenever it suits. Just give me a chance to let Matty and Pete know what's happening. Uh, great. Uh, I'll come later this afternoon, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll head home and make a start on those back bedrooms then. Fancy giving me a hand? I'm really busy here. Are you sure? Because it might be the last time that we get the place to ourselves for a while. Be daft not to make the most of it. Okay, yeah. Um, well, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be as quick as mm -hmm. I can. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. And afterwards, you can help Bear and Patty shift their stuff. He's giving his heads up, right? For God's sake, get your shirt back on. Shh. See? Nothing. Probably given up already. Bit of a cliche, though. Getting caught on the hay with the farm, man. You think this is funny? Relax. He's gone. Listen. It's him. Go. Go. It's... Why didn't you answer my call? Why didn't you turn up when you said you would? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing in here, anyway? You're, uh, a bit overdressed for it, aren't you? Well, I got sick and tired of waiting for you, so I came to check on the workers. Well, I thought Pete was on his day off. He is? So where's night? Good question. What happened to your hand? Oh, yeah, it's just, uh... Just a scratch, it's fine. Anyway, I'm here now, you know, and uh, you're looking really good. <sighs> no kidding, not here. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not like it'd be the first time, or the second. Yeah, I know, but we've got to get things ready for Paddy and Bear. And don't think you're getting out of that either. Yeah, but they're not here yet. So come on, come on. We've got time. <sighs> ah, come on. <sighs> that was making up for being late. Mm, but you still have, haven't told me why you're late, do you? Uh, hello. All right. And luckily, you had Dr Kavanagh there to bandage it up for you. Huh? Matty told me that he left you two knocking back the beers together. Oh, yeah, hardly. We still need to help Paddy and Bear get their stuff. And we will uh, once we're done here. Yeah, no, no. Seriously? Yes, seriously. 
fine. Yeah, great. All right. You know, I've already had Harriet pecking me at about thingy. What's he called? Will? Yeah, him. She wants me to give him his job back at the garage. Well, maybe you should. Then why do you care? Well, like Harriet would say, people make mistakes and, and it would free you up. Huh, yeah, to run errands. I'll think about it. Well, why don't you tell him the good news in person? What now? Well, you're going that way anyhow. Oh, fine, yeah, I'll do it now. I think this day just keeps getting better. Bolino. Thought we could uh, go out if you fancy it. Go for a drink. Well, I've made tea now. Ooh, summit smells delicious. Lamb casserole. There's plenty for everyone. Ah, well, we just thought we'd have a bit of fresh air, didn't we, Paddy? Well, there's some beers in the fridge. Uh, not anymore. Thirsty work, moving house. Sorry. Oh. Here. What's this? Keys for the garage. There's a fridge full of beer there. Oh, you diamond. This day just gets better and better. Don't feel like you need to rush back. We won't be long. We'll... Right, got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we won't be homeward bound until you've both had your desserts, if you get my drift. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bear. I'll save you both some casserole. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of pudding if there's any still on offer. And, oh, you right, know, thank you very much. Yeah, Thanks, bye. <laughs> How long will it be? Well, if you're talking about dinner, that's ready now. But I thought you might have had something else in mind. Oh. Right. Well, it does smell good. But I was just wanting to skip to the afters. Oh. You OK? Are you complaining? No, no, I am not complaining. He's given his opinion. Yeah, well, he's right about Matty being miserable. Well, that's only because he was hanging around with those idiots that did this place over. Then he lost his real mates. I don't suppose you could have a word with them, could you? Look, he's tried talking to Ryan. What makes you think I'd do any better? Well, they say practice makes perfect. Please. Hey. In about an hour, this place is going to be empty. Meaning? Well, your trouble is you're never quite satisfied. I think last night came pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have got a farm to run. Yeah, I know that, Pete. And as tempting as your burgers might be right now, my parched locals need a G&T way more. Uh, remind me, this is a favour you're asking. <sighs> yes, OK, Moira, I'm so sorry. Please, 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 turn up tomorrow and bring your men's stock, because I need them. And I'll do whatever, I'll dance, I'll beg, whatever! Look, I'm, uh, I'm busy at the garage. Oh, Kane, come on! Debbie's in Scotland, yeah? She can't help me, can she? I suppose we can manage a few hours. If you give us a lift into town now. Deal. Done. Get in the car. Can you drop us off halfway? Yeah. Oh, you could come with us. No way up. Listen, like um, I've got some uh, overalls on the bedroom floor. You can't show them in the washroom, can you? Oh, hi, Ryan. Mum, we're off into Hotton for some birthday spending and then hitting up a few bars. Yeah. Feel your popcorn. Yeah, Kane's gonna get on the brandy. Show us a few moves. Oh, and you're going? Yeah, it turns out the old man's not past it, even with only one working hand. Wait, I'll still drink you on the table. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, back in one piece, please. See you later. Yeah, unless you get lucky. See ya. Hmm. Old mates again, and you're going out with them? No, it's surveillance, you know. If that John all turns up, then it could get lively. Mm. Hey. Listen. What? Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry for being in a mood. No, I shouldn't have come back so late. I just thought I'd leave you to it. No, no, it was fine. So, um, <clears throat> what did you get up to? Nothing. I. Just wasted the time, to be honest. Why don't you have an early light later? I'll look after these two. Oh, thanks. And thanks for going out with Matty. It means a lot. Come here. Do you know what? 
We need to get shot of a lot of them. Just you, me... And Isaac and Kyle. Yeah. Sounds a lot, isn't it? Lydia had the pair of them yesterday. How often does that happen? Mm. I need to get going. There are lambs that need tagging. Yeah, I'll give you an hand, but... No, that's all right. Nick can do it. Hey, how about you come home for dinner and I'll make sure the place is empty? Oh, nice idea, but I'm really snowed under at the garage. Hi. How is she? I've only just picked up your message. No, she's doing OK. She's just tired. Keeping her in. Poor girl. She must have been terrified. <laughs> Everyone was. Has this ever happened to her before? Has something caused it? Are they going to do scans? I don't know. I'll grab you a beer. <sighs> what do you fancy for dinner? If I've got it, I'll make it. Or we could go out. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. It's trying to be nice. I know you've had a tough day. Oh, yeah, every day's a tough day. And I've been looking forward to seeing you too. I'm going to go and have a shower. Think of the hospital. <sighs> Oi. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. No, if the phone goes and it's Aaron. Pick it up, will you? Yep, of course I will. <sighs> you haven't seen Isaac's dumper truck, have you? He needs it for nursery. Good luck finding it in this mess. How does Chaz put up with Paddy and Beer? They're worse than teenagers. Mm. Yeah, death threats knowing our Chaz. <laughs> yeah, why don't I try it? The way I'm feeling, it might do me some good. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to take out on you. I know you've got a lot on. So, have you heard how Liv is today? Uh, Aaron said he'd let me know if there's any news. I think she's coming home. You can talk to me, you know. Yeah. It's oh. like you haven't got enough on, eh? Oh. Hey, you mean man, you're right. Does he seem quiet to you? Can you blame him living in this madhouse? Probably looking forward to going to nurse to get a break. Oh, I know how he feels. Mwah. This. <laughs> Yay! This day just gets better. Right. Mm. Bye to mummy. Bye bye. Mwah. Okay. Tonight, you, me, a couple of cans, and a quiet night. Who says romance is dead? Yeah. Bye. What's happened? Is he all right? No, he's been sick. So I know you've sent him home, but then you'd know that if you'd answered your phone. I knew he wasn't right this morning. Yeah, well, then you should have thought about that then, shouldn't you? Instead of having me running about like a headless chicken. Why? Am I supposed to just drop everything when you call? I suppose your job's more important than mine. I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to. I'm up to my neck in it as well. I've got the farm to run, I've got this place to keep tidying. How dare you lay this on me? How is he? Washed out. Fast asleep. Have you got time for a brew? Give me a chance to say sorry for snapping before. Did you hear what I said? And? And nothing. Just wanted you to know. I'm sorry I didn't answer the phone earlier. I should have been there for Isaac. Well, at least we agree on something. Do you want me to do some washing before you leave? No. Are you sure? You've got no clean shirts. We won't need any. We're only visiting our Debbie. Yeah, but you can still make an effort. She's not a bother, is she? Well, I'm just glad we've got you for another day. Yeah. I thought I'd make the most of it. Hey, how do you fancy going to the cafe? Well, I've just made him something. I thought I could treat him to a milkshake, you know. I thought we could have some quality lad time before I drop him off at Amy's. Let him eat this first. Eat this. <sighs> Fine. Hurry up and shovel it down. Right. Be back in a minute. What, where are you going now? Car bulb needs changing. 
And that's, uh, unless you fancy some quality adult time. All right, and leave Kale on his own. Yeah. Right, back in a bit. Your mummy's not in the best of moods, is she? No, I wasn't until I saw you. Mm, I could take offence at that. Feel free. Hey. Well, I hope you can put a smile on her face. I'll try my best. Right, Amy's having Carl, my dad's having Isaac, and I'm having you all to myself. Oh, what about him? Easy. We need you out of the picture. Well, are you sending me to my room? Pull. Uh, well, I'd love to, but I'm a bit short at the moment. Ah. I'll drop me off when I drop him at my dad's. Right, you're going to go and see Grandad and he's going to spoil you. Give us a kiss. Mwah. No. You've thought of everything. So get his gear. Everything sorted at the garage? Mm, for now. I've left detailed instructions with Dan, so I hope they won't bury the place while I'm gone. <laughs> uh, I wish you didn't have to go. Well, uh, could I always stay here for a bit? Keen, I stink. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Maybe we could, uh, maybe we could have a shower. <laughs> Can you really spare the time with your long drive to Scotland? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I can spare the time. Shall we? We shall. Robert, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, and make sure you give Debbie my love. Oh, yeah, I will do. Don't get too bored of that, mm, I'll do my best. Ooh, and, uh, <laughs> thanks for making the time. <laughs> Try to <sighs> Yeah. What's up? I caught them taking drugs. What drugs? Weed. It's how they start. <sighs> Matty is not Holly. So what else have I missed? Very little. Oh, except uh, you could have a word with your friend Harriet if you want. Why? Well, it turns out that when you gave her ex-stalker a job, you played matchmaker, which is just the weirdest thing ever. Is it? Eh? Well, apparently this goes way back. Harriet put him away when she was a copper. I mean, nobody knows what for. Except you. Kane. I'm stopping by the garage. Why don't you come with? I'm going to get a bite to eat. It will be closed, but the cafe will be open. Moira? Did you ever stop and wonder how many people's lives were ruined thanks to him? Hmm? How much stuff made it on the streets while he was on customs? He probably waved through the stuff that Holly took. It was years ago. Oh, right. So no reservations? <sighs> a favour to Harriet. She, she thought he deserved a second chance. <laughs> Obviously. Honestly, that woman. All fake sympathy and vicarly concern. Oh, a prayer for Holly. And not a flicker from her. Not even when I mentioned the Matty and the weed. So I wonder who she's protecting. What, you think it was Will who sold it to him? That's crazy. Is it? Have you asked Matty where he got it? Ryan? D well, there you go. Problem solved, Bill and Ted. Ryan, who's best mates with Dawn? Oh, come on. Come on, what? what? Do you want me to have a word with Will? Because I'll do it. No, I want you to get rid of him. I don't even want him in the village. He's an insult to Holly. So let's do it when you're thinking straight. Oh, great. Well done, patronising. I am thinking perfectly straight. So if you won't do anything about him, Kane, I will. <laughs> you're brave. Hope you're not here for an apology. Not exactly. An explanation, maybe. Was it not clear? Have you found out who gave Matty his drugs? His drugs. OK. The drugs. I know who gave him them. It's where they came from before that. You know, it, it actually doesn't matter if they're from your fella or not. It's not the point. People deserve to know what he is. 
what he was. And they do now. Oh, and you're that angry about it, you decided to follow me home. I'll tell you what I am, Moira. I'm confused. And I'm worried because this isn't you. Oh, well, it's quite simple. You pretended to care about Matty <sighs> and Holly. We can talk any time. We'll say a prayer. You know, it's, it's just rude, Harriet. I don't even want to be having this conversation. Do you really think I'd put you or your kids in any kind of danger? Oh, this is about your job, isn't it? Because I said I'd tell the bishop. You're terrified. I'm happy to explain myself if I have to. Oh, yeah, because you're good at that. Moira. You've had plenty of practice. Moira. What? It's not my fault that she's got a cupboard full of skeletons. <sighs> I wouldn't go there. Not if I were you. What, are you actually threatening me? No, nobody's threatening me. I'm pointing me. out that when it comes to skeletons, Moira, you're kind of an expert, aren't you? Is that where you want to go? No, not me. But it strikes me as very, very brave of you to hold anybody else to such high standards. When Emma's been in the ground, what? Two years? Glass houses and stones. Be very careful. All I'm saying is some things aren't easy to explain if you weren't there at the time. No, Harriet, you were threatening me. <sighs> you pretended to care and that didn't work, so now you're reaching for your trump card and playing that. But why don't we calm down? I don't need to calm down. You want to talk about Emma? Let's talk about her. Hey, how are you? You all right? Hi. Hey, I've got you some chickens. What? I've got a deal on them, so I've got you some and that. About 30. Good layers. It, Sam, what are you talking about? I can let you have them for half price. Sam, just... just go. This conversation's over. I agree. Oh, do you? Miss Reasonable. Oh, there she goes, to her drug-pushing stalker and her prostitute house guest. <laughs> Nothing to see, just your usual vicar. That's not nice. Oh, well, the truth hurts. Liz. Haven't you got work? Well, yeah, I have, but I'm not sure about leaving you here. Oh, I'll be all right. Well, yeah, you will. Well, what about everybody else? I mean, who are you going to savage next? Oh, nice. I might have known that a bit of support would be too much to ask. The thing is, I, I don't know what to say. You're acting like a crazy person. Well, why don't you tell me how I should be acting? I've just discovered that my supposed friend is harbouring a drug trafficker. Oh, and my husband's been helping keep her secret. No, I haven't. You know, you'd love it if you could blame me. But you know what? There's something else not right here. It couldn't be more obvious. You've been acting weird for ages. I, I've, I've just chose not to say anything. It's amazing how far you go to defend <laughs> poor Harriet. Don't change the subject. This is me. I'm not stupid. OK. I'll find out. You know what? Carved up off at Amy's. She's going to give him his dinner. She has to work too, you know. She can't take every Friday off. Well, I hope she's OK to do this one. And Pete's going to finish off feeding the cows. What? <sighs> we need to have a chat. Then ask me, Kane. Don't manipulate a situation. This isn't just about Harriet, or, or Will, or, or even me having feelings about Harriet, which you know is ridiculous. Is there something else? But apart from the obvious, Holly. Was that not enough? So that's what this is. You've been working yourself up about Holly's anniversary today. Today and every other day. I don't need a calendar to tell me when to grieve, Kane. Hey. So I just bought a lot. Oh, darling, you didn't have to. Hurry up, boy, before the galaxy of the plastic wrap. <laughs> Too late. Hey. Just hurry up and get a brew, will you, and then get out. This is a private table. Hello, Dino. <clears throat> oh, OK, yeah, no, I'm interested. Just hang on. <clears throat> oh. Cosy. <laughs> he has his moments. So he brings you some salad in his husband of the year, seriously. I haven't seen him properly for weeks. Stop sulking. Then don't mug me off. You've been all over me all the time he's been away. Keep your voice down. Little trips to the caravan. 
In here? Or because you can't contain yourself? Please stop it. Then don't send me to my quarters like I'm some nobody. Why do you want me to treat you then? That's for you to work out. But you need to play nice. Or Kay might find out how much you've really missed him. Don't play games with me, Nate. Same to you. Don't dish what you can't take. Sorry. Don't pin me, because he's back. I don't like being disrespected. Th th this isn't even about you. Just grow up. Into what? Almost, man. Oh. What's going on? Nothing. We had a deal. She's bailing. She? Kane, just leave it. Promise to help me fix the drench pens. Not sit here dipping carrot sticks. What more I can do as she likes? You're the boss now. It's three years since the daughter died, you... Just give her some space. Mum, I'm not just here because of what you said. I didn't think, Mum. I never meant to upset you. I know. I'm sorry I yelled at you. But anything to do with drugs, darling, it brings it back to Holly. Yeah, of course. I doubt he'll do it again. I won't. I don't, Mum. Oh, I miss her too, Mum. Just wish she could, um, know me like this. She should have been proud of you. <clears throat> David um, needs me back at work. So. Bye, sis. <sighs> Shouldn't have been so hard on him. Just a young lad having fun with his mates. Now you humiliated him. Yeah, because you're a mother to an addict, everybody understands. It's not a good enough reason. Why'd you keep letting me off? I killed Emma. No. Yes, Kane, I did. However you dress up, she was on that bridge because of me. Now Holly's gone. And Adam's God knows where. I'm a rotten mum. And I'm a terrible wife. Well, yeah, only sometimes. <laughs> Great mum. You love Kyle like he's yours. You manage two kids and run a farm. As for wife, you put up with my whole family. I think she was saying as far as I'm concerned. No. I know I've been away, focusing on Debbie. She's your daughter. Yeah, a grown woman who doesn't need her as much as I'd like to think. But you, you act like you cope and you, you don't say what's on your mind. And, and if that's because I kept it zipped about well, then um, I'm sorry. I was just trying to protect you. And we made a promise to each other, didn't we, that no more secrets. Look, we've got a house full of babysitters back there, so let's make them earn the keep. A meal, movie, night away, just say what you want. It's like that. What do you want? Any. Hey, You're trying to kill me? Only there's easier ways. Get over yourself. I'm not out to wreck your marriage. You're the one that needs to get over himself. You're angry because of what you've done. But you're taking out on me. I get it. I must be mad to have risked everything for, for whatever this is. And if Kane found out... I don't need the hassle. 
Ah, uh, right. Like I can trust you. Right here. Wow. Where'd you get this lot? My regular contact. He rang me earlier, but he reckons the two ought to sell on just now. Some idiot hijacked a delivery van, gave the driver a slap, so now the police are all over it. So I'm going to have to keep hold of them for a while. Yeah, well, the less I know about this, the better. Uh, you never saw any of this either, right? No. About yesterday, I was out of order. That's between you and Maura. Mr Dingle, I think you may be able to help us with our inquiries. Have you been offered any stolen car parts? You're asking every car mechanic in the area or just me? Maybe there's been a break in at another farm. Everything all right? I don't know anything about it. In that case, you won't mind me doing a search. No, you can poke around as much as you like. As long as you come back here with a search warrant. Thought you might say that. Mm. So I came prepared. Got nothing to hide. You won't find greasy car parts in my knickers drawer. Well, caravan out there, is that yours, Mr Barton? Nope. It's Nate's, the farmer. Mm. And where is he? Working in the fields. I'll be back later. I'm sure I'll be happy to give you a guided tour. You, you got a spare key for the caravan, Mrs Dinkle? Uh, yeah, in the drawer. Since when have we had a spare key? Well, he asked us to keep a spare in case he ever locked himself out. This is just lazy police work. Cos you lot do love harassing a dingle, don't you? Yeah, there are other families available. It's not harassment. We're following up on information received. Who from? You best get back to work. Yeah, I'm on it. I'll catch you later. No, if I catch him first. Do all failed comedians join the police force, or just the really unfunny ones? You sure about it? Found anything? Nothing yet. You check behind them air bales. Just about to start in there. I told you I had nothing to hide. I don't think you're off the hook. I've still got your garage to search. I'll give you a ride down there in my squad car. Hey, it'll be like old times. Well, still angry with him. He didn't know it was Holly's anniversary. What are you sticking up for him for? Oh, I forgot. You're his new drinking buddy. You what? Nothing, I'm just tired. Exactly. So why give him the day off when you obviously need him? Look, wh why don't I cook or something tonight? Just you and me. Look, I'm not promising candles or anything like that, but... Might buy a bottle of wine. Are you training for MasterChef or something? Eh? Well, you cooked me lunch last week. Oh, well, changed man, haven't I? I guess I'm trying to be. Listen, mate, bit of bad news. Your day off has been cancelled. Bye. No, it's not fine, actually. Look, will you show up? Do you want me to cook for you or not? You're going to need a hand with the meat deliveries, aren't you? I really don't mind. Honest. So that's sorted, then? You better get used to it, because from now on, this is the way it's going to be. I've said I'm sorry. And I said it's over. Why are you being like this? Because I don't trust you. Since when? Since you threatened me. 
Remember, you've split up with Amy, so you've got nothing to lose, whereas I've got plenty. It's not a competition. OK, I messed up. I admit it. But I'm cool with the way it is. You know, sex is sex and... Yeah. You and your family are something else. I know that. But it still doesn't stop me wanting to rip your clothes off. And don't tell me you don't feel the same. <sighs> Mm. Right? Yeah, I'm just, just tired, that's all. I don't think I can eat this. Well, it's not that bad, is it? No, no, I just... Oh, I think I'm coming down with something. I want to run you a bath? No, I've got paperwork that I need to do. No, no, no I'll do that. You could have your shower. I thought you weren't feeling well. I can clear a few dishes. Go on, you go up. Mm. Thank you. Are you going somewhere? Maybe you are. I told you already. It's a cattle auction. I saw it down the road, didn't it? I thought it was next week anyway. Yes, but there's one in Gloucestershire tomorrow, which I've been hearing really good things about. But it's an early start, so I'm going to drive today. Well, glad to know I'll be missed. You want to know? Yeah, I didn't know you were as head. Right. The feed ordered. I forgot to do it yesterday. That's already done. Should be arriving later. Oh, thanks. Seems to be a few things slipping your mind lately. I guess you're thinking about other things. Well, lucky I have you to rely on. Yeah, well, I should think the same. Obviously, things have changed. Pete, I'm sorry that you got involved in all of this. Yeah, me too. Will be, and I'll make sure he backs off from now on. Yeah, we'll good up with that. It seems to me like he's the sort of bloke who does what he wants, which is what you should be worried about. I'm not expecting you to like Nate. And I'm sorry about the way he's handled this, but if you tell Kane, then this isn't going to end well for any of us. Well, if Kane finds out that I knew. Yeah, which is why it's best for everyone if he doesn't. Yeah, then you need to put an end to it. Yeah, thanks. 33, eh? Young and handsome. Mm -hmm. You're making me jealous. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. That's what I was going to ask. You and Moira. Me and Moira what? Something off. Well, we were just chatting. Well, not exactly chatting, but she wished me happy birthday. Yesterday, I'm on about. Right, um, yeah, listen, I was in a mood, you know, we've got loads of stuff going on. It's just a bit crazy, isn't it? Why is she, uh, she asked you to have a word? And that's all it is. Well, I'm not even sure if that's what you saw, but that's all I can think of, yeah? Right. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> you can wish me happy birthday if you want. Yeah, I can. If I want. How's it going with them logs? Oh, dropped and stacked like you asked. I even did some kindling. Right, where do you want all this then, mate? You might as well put it in a van. Having a clear out? Oh, it's clearing off more like. Clearing off where? Oh, I've been beef for starters. Still find somewhere more permanent. When was this decided? Well, you know it's too crowded for him. He just wants his own space. Can't just ride it out like the rest of us. They'll be back in the pub again soon. Things will be back to normal. You've got a cushy here, son. Why shout out half your wages in rent? Yeah, says the expert. Yeah, here's right. This is your home. It's where you belong. Yeah, well, not anymore. So come on, then, strong man. You can give us an hand. Well, first dibs on your room and it's a deal. <laughs> You busy tomorrow? <laughs> I'm always busy. 
Well, make sure you uh, spare some time to come into Houghton with us, will you? I need to sort out this BMX for our Kyle. Yeah, sure. Isaac's in our room. Pending. Well, yeah, for now, but he's getting pretty good at escape. Well, you were just the same at his age. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him. You okay if we make it there a bit? Of course, we'll have a great time. What are you talking about? I knew you weren't listening yesterday. We're going into town. We don't have time. Look, I, I'm sorry, it's just that I'm short staffed. Sure, we'll manage. Will you please go and do some work? Okay? Look, I thought you had Isaac. No, oh, that's why I'm here, so you two could get off. No, I, I, I've got too much on. Maybe another day? Yeah, fine, don't worry about it. Oh, Kane. Look, I really am sorry. Thought you could use a break. I'm supposed to be checking the sheep. We're in some biscuits. Ah! Incoming! Show bikes used to come in one piece. <laughs> well, did you ever buy one? Mm -hmm. I forgot all about this. Well, that's why I wanted us to go into town. I did try telling you. I know. Sorry. We've got Isaac our balance bike as well, so we can keep up with Kyle. Oh, I'm not sure we'll be able to do that, but that's lovely. They'll be really excited. Mm. They'll have outgrown it by the time I finish this. Well, we could try and do something radical, like... Look. The guide pipe noodle. Oh, call yourself a mechanic. Doesn't everyone know what a guide pipe noodle is? Yeah, well, it would be a lot easier if you weren't distracting me. So now it's my fault? Mm. Yeah, 100%. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know that door locks if you wanted some privacy? <sighs> you can knock on it and all. I'm on a break. Mm. Why don't you wake Isaac up and show him his new balance bike? My son can come downstairs any minute. I went back on mine. I'm not giving up on you. Come on, you like? OK, right. I, I'll be there as soon as I can. Just go, please. OK. Oh, it sounded like you were killing someone. Just trying this out. Where is everyone? Oh, I kicked them out when my mum's got the kids. I just just needed time to finish this, you know. Seems like ages since we've had time to ourselves. You know, so much on. We've had to live in separate lives. We've uh, got a visitor. There's a numb. I can um, stretch out a couple of garage invoices, you know, until you come back. Yeah, and by that time, beer will be up and about, no doubt, and treating us to some songs in the shower. So I that's a no, then. Well, maybe later. You mean later when they've all moved out? No. I'll take the invoices to work. See you later, mate. What about all that stuff you said about it being just a fling? It was the truth. It's just become a bit more complicated. Well, what about Kane, eh? And Isaac and Kyle? And... But where's caring for your family feature in all this? Cos it looks to me like you've made your decision what matters most. And let me tell you, it's the wrong one. It's my decision. My life. It'll be Nate's life if Kane finds out. The only reason that me and Ross didn't shop you for what he did to Mum was that Isaac didn't lose his mum too. That kid deserves better. Pete, please. No, listen, boy, you need to hear this. Look, you could lose your family, and for what? A couple of bunk ups in a caravan. You really don't know when to stop. Yeah, and you don't know when to listen. Do you know what I'm wiping my hands here? Meaning what exactly? Meaning that I'll keep working on the farm just to protect my investment. But that's as far as it goes. Otherwise, I mean, we're finished. This. Romantic lunch for you and Moira. I just thought you needed some time together. It's been like the YMCA around it. We can manage our own lives. Who says you can? Well, I managed to book us a B and B next week out in the sticks. Really? Yeah, there's an agricultural show over that way. You know, thought I could go with her, spend a couple of nights with her. 
Up past the top field was Pete and, well, you know, the signal's rubbish up there. Up. And we've been snowed under. I haven't even checked. Oh. Yeah, say sorry. I wish I'd have known. Well, you can eat it up for your teas, I suppose. Yummy, 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 yummy. So much for you two spending the afternoon together. Oh, it's fine. I've been promising Isaac a treat after playground for ages, haven't I? Hello. <laughs> Anyone for another cuppa? Uh, no. Oh, glove. <laughs> Would you mind taking their order? Call of nature for me. <laughs> Do you want some cake or something? Well, that's going to make today any better. Whatever you want, go on. Yeah. Keep an eye on him. Come on. Thank you. You've got some nerve. I told you to keep me out of this. I know, I'm sorry. Come on, please, come on in. Well, I can't go. I said to Chaz that we'll go over, she's in bits. Well, I can't leave me. I'm behind with the tuppen as it is. Look, I'll come over later, I promise. Right. I'll come. Quite a woman you've got there. Aye. Uh, lifetime of bad choices. I end up with her and the boys. Who says miracles don't happen? Well, you'll not be laughing in a minute. Swear to me. On your son's lives that you will do nothing to put them in danger, or yourself, or anyone else for that matter. Well, like who? Moira. She's been having an affair with Pete. They're having an affair there, I've said it. Out. No. Get out. I'm not. You're bored, I'm not you're lonely, you're it's scared, true. you've got nothing. My daughter needs me more than ever right now. Why would I put that at risk if I wasn't sure about this? I'm sorry. Something's not been right for a while now and Pete must have moved out for a reason. All right, that's all you've I've got. I've seen them acting like you act when you're scared of getting caught. <laughs> No, you're wrong, you're wrong, because, um... Because he, he couldn't even keep hold of the vet and, you know, Moira she was... Uh... is as guilty as sin. Yeah, well, you'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yes, I would. I haven't even done anything. Do you know how much I loathe you right now? What are you going to do? I had to tell you. I just don't want you to do anything you'll regret. Don't be daft. I'm as calm as I've ever been. Question. Uh, does she know you're onto her? Fine. You can go now. Yeah, don't worry. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Like you said, I know I've got the kids to think about. But I don't want to leave you. I don't. Leave <laughs> what you do best. Done it before. Hi, in or out? Hey there. <clears throat> what happened to the chair? Uh, accident. I uh, oh. I stood in it, changed the light bulb, and now it's firewood. So. Oh. Are you okay? I told you that thing was knackered. Mm. Not so it like it always been right. Hey? Oh, well, I wish I knew. Anything to report? No. Right. Well, I'm going to start packing. 
Unless you've done mine for me. Thought not. I'm not doing yours. You're babbling a bit, aren't you? Is everything OK? Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Good, cos, um... I'm not going to be able to come, you know, to this farm show. Why not? Because I need to stay here for Chaz. OK, I, I get it, but she has Paddy. No, I can't go away, I'm sorry. You have to come. Do I? Well, yeah, I'm, I need someone. I'm, I'm not just going to see the show. I'm buying livestock. It's already hooked up to the trailer. So? So, I need somebody to come with me. So about ten. Right. Fine, then. I'll, I'll ask Pete to come with me. No, Pete has got to stay here with me. Why don't you take Nate? I'm going to need Pete on the farm, aren't I? Feels wrong. Yeah, I don't need to go. You're all hooked up now. You're lost without Pete. Oh, I thought you'd be pleased that I was offering to stay. Mm. You want us both missing out. Mm. OK. Oh, and remember to cancel Zach picking the kids up from school. You can have that pleasure now. Can't resist me, can you? Go. Off you go. Nice one, Kate. Back in the bubble. Get your foot down. Where are you? Right, well, when you're finished... I know you need to go on, Pete, but I need you here first. It won't take long. OK. Still here, then. Anything you want to tell me? It's not me. What's well, not you? Oh, I suppose he said something. Well, only that you've been sleeping with my wife. Yeah, well, she's wrong. That's what I thought. And then I thought... I thought, what's he got that I haven't got? And then I thought... Well, he, he wouldn't dare do that. Because he knows that I'd have to kill him. You wouldn't kill me because of what she did to me, Mum. So you're admitting it then, are you? No, I'm not admitting anything! You're no killer. Well, <laughs> wait, you think you're in a position to second guess what I'm capable of right now, do you? You won't go that far. Not if you can't be sure. I've got all the facts that I need. Yeah, well, you haven't. Because it's not me! Well, where's Moira? She's going about business. She wanted to take you along for the ride, but, um... Well, I had to break her heart on that score. <laughs> mate, please, it's not me. Do I look like a bloke who has any mates? But I am your mate. So just think about it for once. Think about what you're doing. We'll talk to you, why? Why? When you seem to have all the answers. Is there something you want to get off your chest? Yeah, oh, fine, right. Well, you know, I'll just let you sit here and bleed to death, then, eh? Tea. Don't go away. Well, I am trying to help you. Kay! 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 But you can't leave me here like this! You can't! All right! I'll tell you! That's better. Well, just untie me. No. Well, please, Kane. No. I need to know now. Okay. 
we do this my way. Why? Because you're a nutter and I need to set it straight. Who is it? There was a text message. They were at it. There is no other explanation. That I tried to make a C7. But how long have you known? That I'm trying to explain why I couldn't yeah, but tell... But you're not, though, are you? You're not! And if it wasn't you, then how come not saying who it is be helping me? It's Nate. Look, I tried to tell him. But you know what, there's something weird because he's, he's not bothered. He's not scared of you. I've just sent them off together because I thought that she was seeing you. Could you make this any worse? Oh, it, it could tear you apart. Look, you can't win this one. No, I can, I can. I can if he doesn't know I'm coming. And you know what, Pete? Um, <laughs> you're right. I'm not a killer. Yet. OK. You either move or breathe a word and I will kill you and all. I've got nothing. I've got nothing anymore. I've been knee deep in pedigree cars by now. Really? How's the room? Fine. Um, things don't get going until later. Weren't you staying for Chaz? Well, she's got Paddy, like you said. Didn't want to step on his toes. So they sort you another one out? Eh? What? Room. You needed two. Oh, yeah, it, it was fine. We just uh, changed the booking. Barely saw it, to be honest. I had one drink at the pub and I was ready to kick. Yeah, me too. It's a shame that you didn't decide to do this earlier. We could have had that night that we planned. I mean, eh? Better late than never. You heard about the super tractors. Couldn't keep away. <laughs> My racing days are over, mate. Oh, you know that I thrash you. Get in. What are you talking about? I've got the trailer there. We'll come back for it later. Interesting. We're looking for tents, mate. Cows, vegetables, posh people trying to park their four by fours. Well, you look at cows all day, it's hardly a fun day out. But you booked it. Then I had a word with myself, came up with a plan B. A boat. Got a permit for the day. Who fancies a fishing expedition, eh? You two go ahead, I'll go to the show. Catch up with some of the lads. We should both go, that's why we came here. Ken, this is all very nice. But... Call it team building. If it makes you feel less guilty. Come on, you boar lords. It's all paid for now. Come on. Yep. Sounds like a great plan. Having fun. Shock of the century. No. What do you want to do? I could always tell him I can't swim. Oh, funny. Are you serious? Problem? Uh, Nate was just telling me that his sea legs aren't that great. Sure, I'll cope. Yeah, well, it might be rougher than it looks. What about it? It's calm as anything out there. Don't worry, lad. I'll keep you safe. Trust me.
that. Get out of the yuck, it's sharp. Cheers. So, now, we choose the bait. Sounds technical. Oh, it's all about the bait. Picking the right one to get the catch you want. Not too small. Not too obvious. It's got feel just right, so he doesn't suspect. And then when you've hooked him, you reel him in, you finish the job. No putting on back. If they're too small to count. So it's a contest? Yeah, of course. How do we decide the winner? <laughs> well, you'll never beat me. Guess that depends on the prize. Right. The stove's not working. Assuming you land more than a minnow. Have faith. Brought this along with us. Stuff for breaking butters down there and all. Thought of everything. So I suppose I'll have to make them too. Brew first. Have to work up an appetite. <laughs> You've got beer. You can have both on the go. It's going to be a long day. <sighs> go on. I promise I won't talk about you. How you got? Sound. I told you I'd look after you. It's all right, is this? It's good to get away. Clear your head. Bit of a slow day, though. There's nothing biting. Have a break from all the stress at home. You're supposed to say, what stress? It's none of my business. I'm telling you, though. Getting it off my chest. Asking other blokes' opinion. Still think one of your mates would be better. Don't do, mates. And where were we? Oh, yes. My marriage. It's pretty, uh Rotten. It seems. She's been playing away. Really? Yep. Right. Surprised you didn't know. Obviously more of than I do. No, me. First time. Not to my knowledge. The thing about Moira. She loves it. Some women, I mean, they read magazines, watch reality TV, buy a puppy, that kind of thing. Moira does sex. She says it's the only thing that stops her thinking. Okay. So when it comes to blokes, she don't really make the best choices. Take me, for example. Back when she was with her first husband, we had this, um, this love-hate thing going on. It was pretty messed up. So it didn't last, and she stuck with him. Till he ended up at the bottom of a cliff. Then there was um, some farm boy, he was barely older than Adam. That didn't end well. Well, not for him anyway, six feet under, literally. Had to dig him out of concrete foundations. And then there was a brother-in-law. Pushed off a bridge. Tragic. And then this... this Pete. Nearly forgot about him. He's always had this thing for her. I mean, he's still alive, but, um... Well... At least he was after I left him strung up in the barn last night. There's a pattern here. So this latest one, this dirty, backstabbing, arrogant scumbag, he thinks he can sleep with my wife, the mother of my children. He's gonna have a death wish, right? Uh, it uh, took ages to boil. 
You've not caught much. These things take time. Be patient. Anything, as long as I don't have to listen to you. The thing is, you don't really get it, do you? Farmhand like you. Never stays in one place. Spend all your wages on gyms and protein shakes. So when it comes to proper adult relationships, about commitment, love, sharing a life together, now until you've had all that, you'll never know how shallow and empty your pathetic existence was before. Why don't you just say what's on your mind, Kane? Or is this you trying to work up the guts? I'm gonna talk about being an adult. Let's do it. Your missus is bored of your boring life and your boring marriage. That's why she's been going behind your back with me. In the caravan. The barn. In your bed. While you were in Scotland. Last night. All night. The sex was the best she's ever had. Obviously. Waking up together. Now that. That was proper mind-blowing. Don't seem surprised. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry, I mean, I just... I just hit someone over the head. So wh wh why, why are you sorry? Wh why are we here? You just say it. Nate and me. I had an affair. How long? Weeks. Weeks or, or months? Months. About three. When you first went to Scotland and we argued about the garage. So that's, um, that's why you sacked him? No, I hadn't started then. But you knew it would. You just couldn't trust yourself to keep your hands off him, could you? No. No. How did you find out? No, I ask. I ask. You answer. It's just physical. Stupid. There was no motion there. No. I hope that's not true. What, what you, 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 you threw our marriage away for, for, for no emotion with a farmhand. No. Uh, Who had a girlfriend, by the way. So were you lying to her and all? Kane, I know that I have got a lot of explaining to do. I know that. 
But shouldn't we be getting back? No. No. No, I'm enjoying it out here. Kane, he's injured. And? Kane, come on. Do you love him? No. No, I love you. So why? Why didn't you end it when Pete found out? Because he moved out because of you, because he was embarrassed of your behaviour. Yeah. You just carried on, didn't you? Eh? Knowing my mum was such, you just thought, I don't care. I'm just going to carry on. You, you went on a, on a farming trip with your... That I would organise. I'd organise that. But you, but you thought, oh, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? It turned out OK. But you had a laugh, didn't you? I'm sorry. Don't apologise, Maura. I don't want your apologies. I want you to feel ashamed. So all those times you were... Uh, you got rid of me so you could be alone with him. <laughs> but it makes sense now, the early nights. <laughs> the mood you were in when I got back from Scotland. Guilt. Don't, please. But if, if there's another version, then I would love to hear it. I did break it off with him. Because I was disgusted with myself. I don't know why I went back to him. It wasn't rational or planned. Rational or planned? You've got kids! I know, I'm not trying to excuse it. And I'm not trying to leave this at your door either. If I'm honest... We haven't been right for a long time. And if I'm really honest, since Adam, after Joe, we both went to really bad places, Kane. So, um, what are this, this is you fixed? Uh. <laughs> no, it was just... I was just able to be me. More like my old me before. I got so weighed down and everything between us became so serious. Yeah, but life is serious when you've got a dad who's grieving and you, your sister's about to give birth and Amy's trying to take Kyle from it. Do you want me to go on? No. No, I don't. I just, I just want you to know how sorry I am. And I would do anything to go back. But you lied to me. You, 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 you broke every promise that you made. You treated our marriage like nothing. You, you betrayed our children. Do you know what you are? Do you know what you are? You said it at Holly's grave. You're not fit to be a wife or a mother. You didn't bring me out here to insult me. So what are you going to do now? Whatever you're planning, there's a different way. Divorce me. Tell everyone. I mean, you call the shots. What do you think I'm planning? I don't know. Just know that we're here for a reason. Mm. You're smart. Kane, please don't do this. Not just for the kids' sake, but it'll destroy you. Just like it did when you thought you killed Joe. Joe was nothing. No, nor's Nate. Just... Take us back. And you can walk away. And I'll, I'll deal with whatever you've done to him. And I, and I promise I won't involve the police, I swear. I'm getting shades of, uh, shades of Emma Barton here. Do you remember her? And that'd be two lives you've destroyed Kane, by please. the... please. I do love you. Kane, please. Why are you pleading? You knew all this when you started. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Push you on. Stop! Nathaniel. Look at me and remember. Do you see me now? Dad. What? You must have known I'd come for you one day. That I'd find you. No, you're mad. You're lying. Whatever you're trying to yeah. do. Yeah. I'm your son. Look, if you think this is funny, this is hardly the time. Stay out of it. Your use is over. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. Come on. Nobody is survived that. Well, he could have jumped. Even if he's got that ball, he's dead. Ken, stop. This is wrong. Swim. Ken, please. Swim, unless you want to die out here as well. Stop. Stop. That's him. Ken, swimming. Ken, please. Never yes, your son. You've got to help him. After what he did. Not after what we did. Unless you planned to kill me too. I didn't leave you down there, did I? You can't leave him there either. You can't leave him there just to die. Come on. Please. Still can't. Oh. 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 Oi. Open your eyes. It's all fine. You're not going to die. Again. Come on. 
We're going to have to talk about this sooner or later. What's to talk about? You were right. Well, not exactly. Poor Pete, it's a good job I found him. Pete, now, what difference does it make? No words of wisdom. I'm just sorry. Truly, I am. Did he have anything to say for himself, you know, when you confronted him? Oh, does it matter? Well, you tell me. You've said next to out about the whole thing and people are starting to ask questions like, is he in hospital too, Nate? Still together. Even there, huh? Must be love. Jane Dingle, I'm here about... He's going to find out soon enough. Find out what? Mum? OK, he's starting to worry me now. Maybe I should just uh, go and ask Nate. I was sleeping with him. <laughs> what? What, Nate? No way. And Kane knows. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> what? How, how long? Not long enough. He's my mate. It's disgusting. What's the matter with you, Mum? Easy. No, hang on. Apart from anything else. You're old enough to be his mum. Yeah. And Kane is dad. What is that? Kane! Moira! I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Where's my dad? Oh, he's gone up to Scotland. Have you not heard from Debbie? Yeah, Jack's Polly. Listen, would you would you be able to have them for another night? Yeah. Yeah, of course. What's all this about an accident? It's no accident. You all right? Come on, chaps, go watch some TV, eh? <sighs> Look, whatever's going on, it's, it's, it's between you two. He doesn't know. Kate, please. She's been sleeping with the farmhand. Nate, this time, just in case you're wondering. I'm surprised you're not by his bedside, unless, of course, uh, he didn't make it. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Kate, where are you going? Don't walk away. <laughs> Sam, oh my God. <laughs> What if he's... What if he's going to finish what he started? Kids watching cartoons in there. And setting for snacks. Thanks, Pete. Did you talk to him? Yeah. I reckon he's telling the truth. Ooh, here she is. What, well, somebody telling the truth? I'm all ears. Go on, then. Nate reckons Keane's his dad. I mean, do you know anything about that? All I care about right now is my son. You know, your husband. Though for how much longer, who can say? That's between them, isn't it? All right, sunshine. She might be your mother, but it takes two to tango. All right, Faith, you've said your piece. Just give it a rest. Hey, bro. Meet your new niece. Yeah, um, nice one. Well done, sis. You all right? Not really, no. What are you doing here? Well, why won't she be here? I take it you've not brought much to speed, then. It's done, King. So, um... It turns out... You know, uh, Nate, our farmhand, is my biological son. What? He 
get that big for you. It's news to me, not. Well, who's his mum? Cara Robinson, apparently. I remember her. You were gutted when she vanished. Here's a question for you, Moira. If you'd have known who Nate really was, would you still have slept with him? She did what? They've been carrying on for months right under our noses. He was my fella. But he's been using you to get close to Kyle. What, and you encouraged him? No. You liar! Whoa, hey, come on. You better than this. How could you? Can we just go home and talk about this? Talk about what? What, all them nights in his caravan? In the barn, in our bed? Hey, not here. Throwing yourself at him like some desperate tart. Hey, come on, mate. Oh, look, here comes another one of your conquests. Coming to your rescue. I wouldn't bother if I were you, mate. She ain't worth it. She'd drop her knickers for anyone. Even my so-called son. I think we've heard quite No, a... don't you even start! Because you have lied to me for years! You've both made mugs of me. Keith, okay. don't talk to me. Don't even look at me. I love you. So you knew about this? I knew he had a kid. I didn't know it was Nate. Get her out of here. She's not welcome. Sleeping between the screams last night. I need to speak to Debbie, tell her what's going on. Have you uh, spoken to Moira? Why would I do that? I know it's raw right now, Kane, but you've got the kids to think about. Oh, was she thinking about them when she. She goes nowhere near Kyle and Isaac, and neither does our mother. Sorry to interrupt. I just wondered where the other pack of nappies is. In the bathroom cabinet. She okay? She's fine, but the rug upstairs isn't. I'm coming up. Daddy. Boys. Daddy. Yay. <laughs> you, uh, you've been behaving for Mandy. Yeah, you can pay me later. Hey, mummy. Listen, mummy's busy working, so, um, come on. Let's have something to eat. Come on, trot us up. Come on. Have sandwich and crispies. Hiya. Oh, thank you. Hey. Eat up. Come on. for the boys. You having a laugh? Let me take them home. No, I don't think so. Do you want to do this now in front of them? Is that what you want? Okay, please. Because I can tell Kyle what you did with his brother. Well, they're not staying here. Oh, you want me to take it to the next level, yeah? Because I will. I can just I can just take them away and disappear. Is that what you want? Didn't think so. Don't come round here again. Feed me some more lies. Let's see what happens. Hey? I don't want to do this. At this moment in time, there's nothing I want to do more. Please, just think about it. Tell me again. How much do you love me, Nate? Hmm? I tried to end it. Time and time again. And you said you couldn't carry on without me. You begged me not to stop. You played me like a fiddle! Well, now you're gonna play to my gym. I didn't mean for it to get this far. You liar! Honestly, I, I cared about you. I just hated him more. Mom. Kane, can we just... Don't. Don't even think about it. Uh, technically, I'm not allowed to sell you those when you... When I'm what? I'm sure he's okay, David. I'd listen to her if I were you. Fine. Just make sure you don't get in a car. Just a fan. Really? You want to talk to me? No, but it's not to apologise for what happened. I want you out of the farm. You and Moira. <laughs> oh, dear. Pete, I don't think it's the best time to start an argument. I'm not. He is. So are you punishing everyone then? Because I tried to tell Maurice you were doing the wrong thing. 
Thanks. It's big of you. And second, there. I want to share in that farm, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> right, you, you do know how difficult I can make things. Right. So all taking out on me is going to make you feel better, is it? I don't know. It's worth a try. Thank you. So, uh, what's happening? Getting drunk again, that's what. Right. Listen, I know Mum hurt you. Like I can't imagine. But it's her farm. I won't let you take it from her. And where's Nate? Is he still hanging about? Not if he's got any sense. Yeah, well, it is him you should be angry at. What Mum did was terrible, but he, he targeted her because of you. You know, <laughs> Faith brought this to your door. You all messed up. Yeah, but I didn't, did I? Because I didn't know anything about it. Chaz, I, I don't need this, and I'm sure you don't. Kane didn't need you cheating on him with the staff. Let alone his own son. What do you think I'd have gone there if I'd known? I don't know, Moira, because I don't even know who you are anymore. Oh, come on, Chaz, you're supposed to be resting. Stuff that. I want to hear what she's got to say for herself. Look, I'm fully aware of what I've done and what I've lost. I mean, it, it's killing me. Don't you dare try and play the victim. I'm not. But, and if I could take it back... Well, you can't. Kane is broken and so are your kids. And now they've lost the granny too. Do you know my daughter will never get to know her? Hey, Faith leaving was not my fault. You have ruined Kane's life. And for what? Cheat fling. Not a bad idea. There's no scene. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Enjoy your walk with your gorgeous new baby. With a decent man who loves you. Be grateful for that. Picking Isaac up on the way, yeah? All right. You going away? Yeah, half term. We're going camping up near Mother Shipman's cave. I'm talking of witches. Hey, Kyle. You off on your travels? Right, come on, we need to get going. Miss this traffic. We? Oui. Are you going away with them? Don't worry, there won't be any funny business. We're not all like you. I'm taking Isaac and all. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Hey. Kane, they're my kids too. Kane, come on, you can't run away from this. Or, or us. There is no us. Kane, I am truly sorry for what I did. I, but I hate myself for it. Okay, here we go then, boys. There we go. So, how was camping, eh? We've been missing all your noise, and guess what, Kyle? I trod on one of your soldiers. I'm surprised you didn't hear my screams from your tent. <laughs> Listen, I won't get too close if I you because they need a good wash. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're not wrong there. Yeah, Mum's been missing you. Hey, you better not. No. <laughs> how did you manage that? Um, why don't you go and choose something nice for after your tea? Yeah, uh, come on, mate. And how are you, my handsome boy? Wow! Huh? Mm. Eh? How are you? Just to uh, let you know, uh, <laughs> me and the boys are moving back in today. Oh, okay, nice. That's, well, that's fantastic news. It's <gasps> good news. Not for you. I want you out. Bad tonight. Stew for tea. Where are the boys? They're with Amy. I said that. Uh... Yeah, I know what you said. Pete warned me that you wanted me out. So it won't come as a shock then. Only I'm not going anywhere. Kane, why are you doing this? I mean, this is my home, my business, and. Well, I'm not leaving my kids. Get it packed now. You can't seriously expect me to do this. Where would I go? Do you honestly think I care about that? But we... 
We can still live here together as a family and we can have separate rooms. What, what planet are you on? This is my home. My kids need me here. No, the boys need disability, OK? They're, their own bedrooms. I don't see why I should be the one to have to move out. You did this, Moira. You, not me. We can't live together. I can't even bear to look at you. But more than that, I can't, I can't even bear to live without my kids either. And you think I can? They need me too. Well, I'm staying, so you'll have to go. Like I said, I can't I'm do that. I'm not asking you, Moira. I am telling you. Now, I know you don't think anything of me, because that much is clear. That's not but true. But if you think anything of them children, you'll leave now without a fuss. Eat all your breakfast, and I promise you, I promise you, we'll go to the bonfire later. Come on. Moira. Hiya. Oh, come here. Oh, I've missed you. What have you been doing here? Should be out working. I just wanted to see the kids. Yeah, well, not on my time. Well, we haven't even discussed my time. It's bonfire night tonight. Are you gonna come with us? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Mm, that'd be really nice. Come on. Shoes. Where's your book bag? Oh. Where's your book bag? Uh, it is here. Good boy, Isaac. It's here. Yeah. Why don't you leave Isaac with me? You know it makes sense. Come on, we need to get going. Why are you acting like nothing's changed? You're meant to be out there working, not sticking your nose in here. Hey, this is still my home, in case you forgot. Let me go. You're not going to stop me seeing my kids. Dad, can Mara take me to school? Yeah, I can do that, darling. We don't need your help. Hey, Lydia's made your parking. Is everything all right? Please, Dad. Right, yeah, OK, go on, off you go. Hey, come on, sweetheart. Nice one. I've not been around much. I figured that you'd be sick of people fussing. Making cakes. If you don't want it. No, I never said that. How long's Moira staying at the B&B? I don't... Hi. <laughs> you mean you're not wanting me tarred and feathered like everyone else in this village? It's me. Remember, I've got form. Oh. Thanks. Sorry, I, I know I need to get a grip. No, no, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I, I swear I'm not trying to feel sorry for myself. I know I'm the only one to blame. I've lost my husband. The boys. The boys? Yeah, I, I've stayed at the B&B. Kane needed space, so... So where's Isaac? Oh, they're still at home with him. He reckons it's in their best interest for now. And you're going along with it because you feel guilty, yeah? Pretty much. Laurel, what have I done? I've been such a mess of everything. Oh, well, <laughs> I know that feeling. And there's no going back, is there? Well, I wish, but it is keen, so... Yeah, well, it doesn't mean that he has to lay down the law. Look, if you want my advice, which you probably don't, but... I'm no, give it to you. Anyway. Andrew, I'll take anything. But... If there's any chance of 
working things out. You need to be back in the home. The longer you're away, things are going to fester. Yeah, but he doesn't want me there. Yeah, but the kids do. And in time, so will he, when he's run ragged with school runs and kids' teas. <laughs> So fight for what you want. Do whatever it takes. Thank you. I don't want to argue, but I'm moving back home. No, you're not. It's for the best. For who? For the kids, at least. Kyle's head was all over the place this morning. And whose fault's that? Mine. But this can't be doing them any good either. Like, I, I've given you space. Space? You don't get this, do you? I know you're hurting, but we need to keep talking. About what? About us, the boys and everything that's worth fighting for. Oh, right, so what we're worth fighting for now. Maybe you should have thought about that when you're lying on your back in the caravan. I know that sorry doesn't cut it. It will never cut it, but I have to start somewhere. Well, you're wasting your breath. Then let me waste it. And then if you still feel the same, I'll go. But at least this will have said everything. Come on, then. I'm trying. It's just everything sounds... All I know is I never wanted to hurt you. Just humiliate me? No, never. Well, you did a pretty good job. I know. And I'm sorry. That's it? Sorry, no, no, no reason why, no, no explanation. Because um, on the boat, you uh, you said that we were in a bad place, and I, I didn't think we were because we got through Joe and all that stuff with Kim. Yeah, only just. Have you forgotten what that was like? I mean, I was going insane. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> that's why you had an affair. No, that's not what I'm saying. So why it, 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 things were good again? At least I thought they were. They were. So why? I don't know. I've been going over and over this. It's just... And? And... I, I don't know. I, I, I think since... since Holly and then what happened with Emma and then losing Adam... No, I'm not letting you use them as an excuse again. I'm not. I'm, I, I'm trying to explain, but... The, Look, the, the truth is, I was, I was happy. I am happy, but... Well, you still did it. Yes. So why? I don't know. Not, not good enough. What, 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 you were flattered because he was younger. God, no. What, are you some kind of sex addict? No. So why, if we were happy? Just give me one reason, just, just one explanation. Because... Because what? Because I wanted to... At that time, I wanted to... I'm selfish and I'm messed up. But for a while it took me somewhere else. Is that what you wanted to hear? So, um, you risked our lives, the kids' lives, everything we had, because, because you wanted to. Just don't get why anyone would do that. Beats waiting for life to twist the knife in again. So maybe I get in there first and screw it up. That way I get to keep control. It's just messed up. I am messed up. But you wanted honesty. I'm sorry I made this so ugly. The only way I can describe it is that it's like self-harming. And I feel like I should be punished and I don't deserve to be happy. You sound so cold like you don't even care. Well, the part of me that does this, she doesn't care. 
She doesn't even switch off because she knows the hurt she's causing, but she does it anyway. No, no, you, you do this anyway. You. Not some, not some messed up part of yourself. It's, it's all you, your choices, your, your decisions, you. Yes, it's me. And it's always been me and I desperately want it not to be. I think I did it because... It forces me to feel something. Because most of the time, I just feel numb. Like my life's on auto and I'm just going through the motions. And it's only when I risk it all that I realise how much I love. It's just reckless. I know. I know, but I want this to end. I want to be happy again. And I want to stay happy. You know, I, I will go to counselling. I will do whatever it takes. Because the one thing I do know is, is that I cannot lose you, Kane. I can't lose you. Can't lose something you've already lost. I don't know why you're upset. Of course I'm upset. You and the boys are all I've got. I think you'd be more careful then. Listen. I am devastated about all of this. And I know you're angry with me, but... I never stop wanting you. Yeah, all the lad in the caravan. Or thinking about oh, you. Shut up. I swear I wanted to end it. Yeah, but you didn't, though, did you? You just carried on. You, you, you went away with him. You even slept with him in our room. That's how much you were thinking of me. Well, Nick targeted me. I was part of his oh, plan. Oh, all right, so you're, you're a victim up. here, are you? No, I'm not. No, but... there's no buts, right? There's no buts. There's nothing you can say that can make any of this any better. I know that you still love me. Yeah, well, you keep on telling yourself that. I know you do hate me right now, but I know that you still love me too. I need you to go now, right? No, I'm not going anywhere. Because we both know what we have. Yeah, but you still threw it away and you'll just keep on trashing it. I won't, I swear it. Like I said, I'll get help, whatever it takes. It's too late. No, it's never too late. Not why we still love each other. Just, you stop saying that because you just don't know what it means. I know what it means to be without each other. I mean, we, we, we tried that before and we couldn't do it, could we? Could we? Please. Look at me. Look at me. I love you so, so much. And I want you more than I've ever wanted any man in my entire life. And you know that that's the truth. Right? You must think I'm stupid or weak and that, that you can say any old junk and, and I'll just have you back just like that. No, not just like that. I know it'll take time and work, but... <sighs> you really think this is a goer, don't you? Yeah, I do. Because I know how we both feel and I know what we have. No, what, 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 we, what we had is gone and you, you don't know how I feel. Because, you know, all, all, all these years, you, you made out like... I was a liability, like, I was the one who couldn't be trusted, but you know what? It was you. No, it was both of us. At different times, we've both been a mess, let's face it. All right, so we just, we just carry on doing this to each other, is that, is that what we do? No, we start again. Do you remember when we started again before? That time on the bridge? Because that night, I made a decision for life. And it was you. You were it. Because long after Holly and Adam and, and Emma and James had all gone, there we were, we were, we were still hanging on. And I thought that meant something. I thought, I thought that made us invincible. We are, Kane. We can do anything. No, we can't, because that was our last chance. 
Only if we believe that. Yeah, I do. I can't do this and I don't want to do this and I don't want to listen to your messed up excuses anymore because you messed up, you blew it and it's over. And I don't want you back. I want you out. Then I'm staying. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Because one day things will change between us. They won't. Yes, they will, Kane. And when they do, I will be right here in our home. Then I will make every day hell. Thanks, Bill. Oi! Kane, don't! Get up. No, leave him, all right? I think you got the message. Got the message? What, he came back? Why, why did you let him in? Don't have a go at her. She was trying to stop me finding you. Get up! Throw it! Get out of your system! I would. Go on. If you think it's what I deserve. Do you think that makes her square after what you did? No. Did you come back for Moira? No. Shame, because I'd pack her bags and all if I thought I'd got rid of you both. Kane! Hey. Stay as another in there, eh? Just there to you. Oh, don't. What the hell of a day. Hi. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm not in the mood. Right, well, I'll just bring it over then. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a nice selfie. Some great filters on here. Might make myself feel better. Where's our Kyle? Not taking him to the bonfire, you take it. Mind your own business. Uh, I'm his granny, so it is my business, actually. <sighs> not anymore. I'm not according to Amy. <sighs> she ain't mouthing off around the campfire, is she? Singing Gingangooli and slagging her arm off. Yeah, well, you let her down. Should have told her about Nate and Moira. Oh, no. Look, it was just. It was complicated, and I hoped it was just a one off that she didn't need to know about. It's going on for months. Oh, no. And that's such a shame because you and Moira are the best thing that happened to Kyle since Johnny died. Well, mostly. I bet the poor lad's in bits, is he? Can you move away? Listen, do you know if you are over, I mean, like, properly over, you and Myra, you just, you just need to tell them straight. I'm speaking from experience. The sooner you face it, the better. Don't waste your time or anybody else's. Thanks for that. Then comes the best bit. What's that? <clears throat> Go out, get absolutely mortal and have a celebratory bunk up with a random. And that makes you feel better? Every single time. And I'm, I'm the queen of the breakups. One pint. Is she bothering you? Oh, no more than usual. I'll have another on a whiskey chaser. Wondered when your bender was coming. Smile! Kerry. Oh, yeah, go on then. Uh, I will have... A spritzer and a whiskey cheese as well. Top lad. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too. I'm just at the bonfire. I'll call you later, yeah? Okay, bye. Bye. Love's young dream on the phone, was it? Oh, yeah, it sounds like Alice is having a great time. Sounds like he's pining to me. <laughs> Here, Kane's back on the market. Might give him a ring. Make him another offer. The old buzzers are out again, then. <laughs> if only he knew how little you valued your marriage. Things could have been so different. Well, there still could be. For your face, if you don't get it out of mine. A demotion? And that's it? Like, no fireworks? Oh, they'll come. This is just part of the game. Shall we go and get you a sparkler? Hmm? Come on. Keep hold of her, please, babe. It's all right, babe. Just a little fire issue. It's not the fire I'm worried about. We all need to keep our distance from Graham. I know what I'm doing. But I thought Kim was bringing them down. He asked us to pick Kyle up from school, so I said I'd mind eyes up till later. Oh, well, I'm going up there soon, so I can take them home. No, my brother with me. That's my son. Yes, and Kane's trusted me with them, so I'll be taking them home. Oh, this is ridiculous. Just don't keep them out in the cold too long, OK? I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Are you okay? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just other people. 
Did you uh, speak to Ken? Well, I'm about to move back in. No, well, hey. as soon as I'm parked. That's brilliant. I'm so pleased for you. Yeah, well, he doesn't want me to, but, you know, I, I think in time we'll be OK. Hmm. There's a chance? Well, he knows I'm moving back in and he hasn't moved out yet, so... So that's something. <laughs> Am I clutching his straws, Laurel? You have to have help. <laughs> you laughing at the fire. <laughs> Just wanted to. My daughter, the mother of your child. I don't know what we're thinking. Neither do I. Right, well, can we definitely say that the just stays between me and you then? Why would I want to brag about something like you? Uh, excuse me. The uh, bus stop's up there. Yeah, I know. Oh, you came. Thanks. Where's Carl? Is that school? Well, if he's not ill, why did you text out it was urgent? He's been asking Matty questions about us. I'm not sure what we should tell him. Why do I need to tell him anything? You wrecked this marriage, not me. Says the man who slept with Kerry in our bed two nights ago. Well, these things happen, you know that. I think you should be here when I speak to him. Yeah, I'm busy today. Oh, come on, Kane. He's your son. We need to broach it carefully and spare him the gory details. Or well, make up some convenient lie. No. This marriage is over because you had an affair with Ned. That's what it is. I don't know how Kane can bear to be around you. Well, maybe he's found a way of getting his own bag. Like, I don't know, giving your mum one? What? I'm just saying that he's not so innocent himself, OK? Kane and me ma'am. Nah, you're making it up. Yeah, I wish I was. Ask her if you don't believe me. Yeah. Matty said that you were wondering why I slept in the spare room last night. Well, do you remember that you used to have a best friend called Isla and you fell out? And now you've got a new best friend called Harry instead? Well, it's the same for grown-ups, except we sort of make new friends. What friends? Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, Is that why I didn't come camping with us? Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Uh, don't you like each other anymore? You said you did. Yeah, well, that was... Uh, a wee fib. Sorry. Why not? Hey. Oh, man. It's OK. Listen, me and Moira, right, we're just... just not getting on very well at the moment. Are you moving out? No, sweetheart. No one's going anywhere. Yeah, well, we can't promise that. <laughs> Things are going to be a bit tough, right? But that doesn't change the way that I feel about you and Isaac. So, you don't need to worry, OK? Good boy. Oh, thought you'd gone back to work. Tell me why. Thank you for not telling Kyle about... I didn't do it for you. He's had enough of people in his life so far. Did you mean what you said about moving out? One of us has to. Look, we can get through this. Why would I want to? You know what? Carl's old enough to understand all this. I'm going to let him know exactly what you are. 
You know, Kane, this holier-than-thou act would be far more impressive if he hadn't just jumped into bed with Kyle's granny. Well, maybe it's easy to just move on. Is that what you really want? Well, what else is that? Fight for our marriage! I'm not going to give up on us that easily. OK, so I better pack them. Well, you're not taking Kyle and Isaac. Not until I find somewhere permanent to live, so enjoy them while you can. OK, and please don't do I this. I can't be here. Sweetheart. Hey, someone's obviously been getting lots of presents, and there's a few more waiting for you at home. Can you come to my birthday party, please? We'll see. Right, come on, everybody out. School time. Come on. Hi. Um, I bought this computer game that Kyle had asked for. If you don't want me to see him, I understand. But can you give him this? He's wanted it for months. Yeah, what he needs is both of us to be there on his birthday, so I'll bring him over later. OK. Yeah. Yeah, nice one, mate. All right, well, uh, yeah, hopefully see you later. Mum, you remember my mate, Mason? Mason... From Birmingham. Only he's offered us some work for a few weeks on uh, his gin stall at Christmas Market. Sounds fun. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, you don't mind if I go? I mean, you'd, you'd be OK. What? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, I was expecting you all at mine, as you well know. Change the plan. Why? Because he was round at yours, I saw his car. So, that's it. He, he brought Kyle a present and I, I took it and told him to go end of. Right, and the truth being your speciality, oh, right? Come on, Kane. Do you really think I'm going to be that stupid? Do you really want me to answer that? Stay away from Kyle starting today. You're not serious. No, I'll drop Isaac off in the morning. But if you don't mind, he's celebrating his big brother's birthday. Nate came round, didn't he, to drop a present off for Kyle? I told him to get lost, but it was too late, cos Kate had seen that he'd been here, so... Well, you shouldn't let him anywhere near, should you? Why am I meant to stop him? Just when I thought Kate and I were getting somewhere. Not really. Well, not far, but better than nowhere. Could have warned me. Yeah, well, I tried. Poor night, eh? Well, you think I feel sorry for him? Well, it sounded like it. Oh, no, you're way off. Kim's letting him have Wileys. Right. So you're going to be neighbours then. That's handy, isn't oh, it? come on. I don't need this. I want him gone. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. You know, I'll keep telling you until you listen. If you're going to row, can you go through to the back? And how long do you think you'll be able to keep him away from Kyle and Isaac? Because he's pretty keen on playing Big Brother. Well, they better watch out if he knows what's good for him. But well, you're going to have to cope on your own for a bit. What? Because I'm going to find Nate and tell him that this is not happening. All right, so you know where he is then, do you? No, but Belle might know where he's gone. Could always go with it. What for? The last thing I want is to see those two together. Oh, I know, but it strikes me right now that you both want the same thing. Love a boy gone. Why don't you work together? Get out of this house. Okay, mate. No! Get I just want to explain. Hey! Hey! Get get hey! Your hands off of him! I told him to come here! All right? We have got to get this sorted. He set out to ruin my life and you're all sat here having dinner with him. Because he's your son. What, do you think that means anything? Well, it matters. And you might not want to hear this, Kane, but when it comes down to it, he's one of us. Sounds like you need section in again. Hey, King, come on. I can't say stuff like that. I'm sorry, all right, but she's been really good to me. Oh, she's been really good to me. Do you want another smack? Stop it, please, for Belle's sake, if nothing else. Don't get involved in things that you don't understand. You'll be offering everyone a cup of tea next. 
Don't have a go at her. Have you all forgotten what he's done? Kane, I want him gone just as much as you. More, probably, but... This isn't helping anyone. Morning. Kane said I was to meet him here so I can drop this one off. Yes, yeah, he's, he's through the back, I think. All right, OK. All right, you walk round. You know where your daddy is. Go find him. Oh. Good boy. Can I interest you in a few dozen Scotch eggs first? I just thought maybe because you're, you know, Scotch. Scottish. I take it all this is from the wedding that didn't happen. Any news about Diddy's dad? No, uh, I feel bad, but you know, I've got to try and claw back some of my costs. Thanks for looking after him. I've got a client meeting, so I can pick him up afterwards. Not too long over then. I'll give you a call when I'm done, yeah? Have you been visiting Eve? How's she doing? Bob will be back to her in a minute if you need to have him. Um, Isaac's not certain. Well, the giraffe always works. Is this supposed to be the stealth mission? In and out before I saw you? I'll, um, I'll buzz you when I'm uh, on my way back with them. Both of them? Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, I do, obviously. Thanks. You know that Pete's quit? What? Nate convinced him to drop everything here and jump to Wiley's. How? Oh, come on, Kane. It's what Nate does. But he's found someone who wants to hurt us almost as much as he does. Kim. She's all but bankrolling him. Why keep doing it, then? You're really stupid enough to get involved with the two biggest snakes in the village. Have you done enough damage? I'm not trying to do any more. Right, so I'll take back his job offer. No. <laughs> exactly. So you think I'm going to stand by and let you do this? I'll leave it out, Kane. But it's got nothing to do with him. So why are you leaving? Because of Moira. Look, she's running that place into the ground. All right, she's managed that in the last couple of weeks, has she? No, months. But ever since... Since what? Since him. But Nate's not the only bad call she's made recently. She's not coping, and ever since you've left, it's getting worse. Come on, you know what Moira's been through. Yeah, and she's fallen apart because of you. Look, before, she used to have someone to pick up the pieces, but this time, I don't know. It's like she wants it to fail. Right. So you're just going to walk out and when she really needs you? Listen, I have given her enough chances. I think you're weak, Pete. You always have been. So you're just going to turn your back on her and get involved with these low lives. He's... Well, where are the kids? Been drinking. Oh, what's Pete said? Like, I've just finished work. I've been running this place by myself, so I cracked open a bottle and had a glass. Just the one. Where are the kids, Kane? Just staying with me tonight. Are you kidding me? We mean over all of this. They're my kids too. Yeah, but you've been drinking. Yeah, a couple of glasses. What, you tell me you're not going to finish that bottle before you go to bed. No, I won't. But. Even if I did. What, do you think you're in a fit state to look after them? It's a you? couple of glasses, Kane. You know, this mess, this mess that you made of our lives, I think you're beginning to rely on that a bit too much. Kane, I'm not. Just bring me my boys. I will. Tomorrow. No booze and I will bring you your boys. He's in the back. Kane, can I have a word? About the kids? Go on. Well, um, I was wondering if I could have them on Christmas Day. I mean, I'm happy to drop them off as soon as they've had their dinner. It's just... Well, you know how Isaac loves his mammy's rose ties. You're joking, right? Me? They're my kids, too. Yeah, only one of them is. You can have them on Boxing Day. But what about their presents? I won't get to see their wee faces when they open them. Tough. Not to be like that. Come on, Kane. She's the mum. Stay out of this, yeah? You dare talk about my kids? Or what? Hey, come on, leave it. 
No, he's not worth it, Kane. Well, don't bother, Amy. He's just doing his hard man routine. She's not wrong, is she? Hey, shut up, you. I don't need you to fight my battles. Mara, go on. Look, I'm going home. I'm hanging around for this. Let's get back to work, eh? Hassan first in. Didn't want to know. Yeah, sucks to be you. Is that it? How about not giving up my right to know my brothers? I might have been overreaching a bit, if I'm honest. God, you're sick. Private conversation? She obviously played you to get back again. Were you there? Do you get to have an opinion? No. I was helping you. You really think he's going to be fine about you seeing Kyle? Chewed you up and spat you out, right? Right. Maybe I was helping myself out a bit as well. Turns out it wasn't that rewarding. Are you serious? I tend to colour outside the lines when it comes to the Dingle Code, all right? You've got a lot to learn. What happened to going somewhere else? Still might. It's Christmas Day. Then why start trouble? I didn't. You invited round the lad who had an affair with my wife for Christmas dinner. But I might as well go and find the, the bloke who raped Lisa and invite him round for New Year. Kane! Thinks I should be speaking to you. And did these people tell you what to say? They think I'm an idiot for passing up the chance to get to know you. I could have told you that myself. And they're also not happy about me not letting them get to know you. Right. So, fight them. I'm not stopping them. Or you. Everybody's here. Go and have a drink. Have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. And do me a favour, will you? Yeah, of course. Don't talk to me. Don't expect me to talk to you and don't expect that to change. <laughs>